I finally survived 1,000 days in my hardcore world. I complete so many different projects and decided to compile my favorite videos from this world into one giant movie. It's so cool to see how much I improved not only my Minecraft skills, but also my editing and commentary ones. So if you're ready to watch me progress for three hours straight, grab some popcorn and let's do this. I collected every item in Hardcore Minecraft. It started off easy, with items like wheat and wooden tools, but moved to some pretty difficult items like a nether star and trident. So the first thing we're going to need to do is build a little platform for where I'll place all the items. There we go. Now we're going to have to get a lot of leather. Wait, why am I killing cows? I literally have a hogland farm. Alright, uh, that was easy. There are about 320 items in the game. That means we're going to need a total of about six stacks of item frames. Just got to make them all. There we go. And now we have to place all of them on this platform. And there we go. Oh, my, my hand hurts. Let me try to make it look a little better by placing some deep slate bricks and then some stairs because I... Uh, what, why not? Hopefully this looks good. I mean, it's... Yeah, yeah it's it's a platform. Let, let's just get into the collection. C collect... Collecting? The collecting. Words are hard. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the easier items and move on to the harder ones. Boom. We got gunpowder. Gotta grab some flint. I think that's enough. Some snowballs. Where's a cow? I need some of its liquids. Hey, what's up? Thank you. Let's place all of our items down. Boom, 10 items down. Only a, a lot to go. Next, we need some clay. Gotta smelt some of it. Thank you. Gotta grab some of this. Now we need to find an egg. Oh, chicken. Please just lay an egg or something. No, another chicken. That's, that's a flower. <laughs> All right, chicken, you gotta do this for me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the egg. I. I'm sorry. Now we need an ink sack. Now we're somehow gonna have to find a glow ink sack. What? Oh, my elytra. That's just great. Let's heal my elytra. Hopefully there's a glow squid in one of these, like, water ravines. Yes, there is. Let's place these items. Boom. First row done. We, we got... 17 more rows to go. Some of these items will take hours alone. This will take a while now let's craft all of our wooden tools there we go cobble tools iron gold and finally diamonds shoot we ran out of diamonds i guess it's time to mine again this will be fun yes finally it was only four but all right let's keep going let's go we got more we have 30 wow Okay, get my final diamond tool. There we go. Oh, I did forget one set of tools. We have to get netherite. This will be fun. Just gotta grab my beds and... Okay. We just gotta keep doing this until I get 20 ancient debris. Yay, finally. That took a while. Yay, more. And we're all out. And we got six ancient debris. Y yay. I kind of hate that strat of using beds. So let's just do the boring way and strip mine. Finally. And it's only one. Oh, this is taking so long. Oh. Oh, yes. Three vein. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that's 20. Get me out of here. Now I got to smelt it. Thank you. Boom. Gotta make another set of diamond tools. And... There we go. All of our tools done. That actually took way longer than expected. Let's first place down our wooden tools. Then stone. Then iron. Gold. Diamonds. And finally, netherite. Boom. Two and a half rows done. Let's go. Next, let's try to get every single die. So we got red, yellow, whatever this is. Gotta smelt my cactus. Just to clarify, for this project, I'll be collecting every item that is non-placeable. So items like redstone and string won't count. I think we got all of them. We got red, we got orange. <laughs> of course I did. And now I don't have yellow. All right, this is great. Yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, blue, magenta, purple, pink, brown, black, gray, light gray, white. I think that's all of them. Third row done. Next, let's work on all of the ores. Gotta grab some coal. Out. Some iron. Ooh, copper. Gotta find some gold. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. 
I think those are all the raw ores we needed. Gotta grab an emerald. Redstone? Oh no, redstone's placeable. Gotta make some charcoal. Thank you. Oh no. We're gonna have to go back to the nether to get some more netherite. We're gonna need one ancient debris and one netherite ingot. Uh, oh wait, we need nether quartz. Yes. Perfect. We only need two more. Come on, just please. Right now. Oh, what? we're done. I hate this so much. That took way too long. Boom. Gotta grab some lapis. Oh, and we have to get some amethyst. Maybe if we could go into a cave, there might be an amethyst geode. I don't know. There's never been a real reason why I needed amethyst. Oh, well, I found it. Sick. All right. Give me that. Oh, I love these sounds. Well, that was easy. Let's place all of our items down. There we go. All the ores are done. Next, let's work on the mob drops. Man, why did that take so long to say? Next, let's, next, let's work. Uh, la, 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 la. Next, let's work. What? Next, let's work on the. I can't say it. Gotta get. Oh, nope. Gotta get some bones. Fermented spider eye. Blaze rod. Blaze powder. Ender pearls. And eyes of ender. Thank you. We're gonna have to find a basalt delta to get a magma cube. Ow. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Yes. Okay, we found it. Hello. And now the last two are gonna be pretty tough to get. The first is a phantom membrane, but the second is a skewt. Gonna have to grab some seagrass. This is the slowest thing I've ever seen. Now we just gotta wait for them to hatch. This might take a while. So while we wait, let's just get some random items. Got some sugar, golden nugget, oak and quill. We have to trade with these villagers because I'm trying to get some bottles of enchanting. Yes, there we go. Let's place down the items that we have. I'm gonna leave these two for phantom membrane and scoot. Then boom. Are you serious? And book and quill. This is turning out really well. So the turtles haven't hatched yet. So let's just keep going and get some more random items. Make a compass. Let's also make another one. Just so we can make an empty map. Firestar. Now if we smelt some netherrack. Get a nether brick. Kill her shells. Now we can grab some of this coarse fruit. That's so satisfying. Ow. Okay, I won't I won't do that anymore. Smelt some of this. Thank you. Gotta place all these down. Boom. Next, let's kill a wither. We have some extra wither skeleton skulls. And all right, die. Shoot. Oh gosh. Okay. I should have drank some potions. Whew. All right. Well, we got another star. Now let's try to go look for a water temple. Is that what it's called? Oh, okay. That was pretty easy. Okay. We got the shards. And then I think if you destroy these, uh, silk touch. No, I got mining fatigue. Just great. All right, give me some of this. Okay, so I guess we have to go quick. Please. Oh, you suck. Yes. Okay, we got both items. Boom. Boom. Wait, phantoms. Let me kill you. Thank you. And if I play some shears. Oh, that's not good. I hate creepers. Uh, good, good as new. Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, I can grab some of that. And get some honeycomb. I can finally fill in this spot. We got our honeycomb. We still need this skewt. I don't know how to get it. Let's try to find a shipwreck. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I'll grab that suspicious stew. But it doesn't have what I'm looking for. Let's keep looking. Is that another one? Again, there's... Never mind, I found it. <laughs> we got the buried treasure map. Found it. And we got the heart of the sea. Let's go. Boop. Next, we're going to try to do something that's probably going to take a while. We're going to try to get every single CD. Let's grab some boats and wait till it's nighttime. Boom. The power of editing. So we have to get 15 different music discs. This will be fun. Get in the boat. Thank you. Now we have to get a creeper. This is terrifying. Don't blow up my items, please. Get in the boat. Oh, well, we got two. Well, hey, sick. Two down. Hey, creeper. Follow me. No. Skeleton, do your thing. Thank you. Three down. Only uh, 12 more to go. This is going to take a while. Ugh. Thank you. Four down. Oh, uh, the same CD. The more music disc I have, the harder it will be to get a unique one. Well, we got to get going. Just great. Thank you. That's a different one. We got six. Shoot. It's already daytime. Let's try to do this in a cave. Get in the boat. Nope, not a unique one. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Yes. Please. Get in the boat. Yes. I, I already have those two. I hate this. We got a new one. Finally. 
We got a new one. Eight down. Look at my body. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yes. Uh. I hate this. Is that a new one? Please. Stop shooting me. Oh. We got another new one. Wait, we got two new ones. Let's go. I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. What the hell? I don't have any more totems. I <laughs> I got to go. Well, we have 11 unique ones. Only three more to go. Thank you. And let's finish this. Oh my gosh. I only need three more. And I keep just getting the same ones over and over again. Oh my god. Far? Is that a new one? Please. Nope. Oh, cat's new. Let's go. I continued doing this for the next 30 minutes, but then realized something pretty stupid. Oh, um, I'm, I'm stupid. I realized that you can't get pig step five and other side from creepers. So I've just been doing this for 30 minutes for no reason. Uh, let's first go from easiest to hardest. The first one is in a bastion. Whoa, they do damage. Let, let's try to be careful. <laughs> oh, okay. There's nothing. There's nothing. Okay, we gotta be careful. Nothing here. Alright, gotta try to find another one. Yes. Whoa! We got netherite? Diamond light? Okay, I'll take all of this. Don't mind me. Oh. Okay, gotta keep searching. Third one. Please give me one. Nope. <gasps> yes! We found it. 13 down. This next one's in an ancient city. I think they're like 2,000 blocks from spawn. So let's just fly really far before we go looking in caves. All right, so we're pretty far out. Let's now go into these caves and try to find an ancient city. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, there must be an ancient city in here. This cave is massive. We found deep dark. Am I, am I gonna die? Oh gosh. Maybe if I just keep exploring around here, it might be connected to an ancient city ow please don't spawn a warden no okay let's just get out of here oh my gosh what, what, what do i do this is terrifying another one let's just keep following this deep dark path and hopefully at the ends there will be an ancient city i can't see oh this is so annoying no way Yes! Oh, we found it! That's pretty lucky. I, I need these disc fragments. There's definitely gonna be a warden spawning. L let's be a little careful. Yes, there's a chest. Yes, other side. And we got an enchanted golden apple. We only need one more disc. Just gotta make sure not to die by a warden. I didn't make any noise. What the hell? No! Bro, I'm gonna die. Hi. Um, I I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. Just forget I was ever here. No! We got some disc fragment. We need one more. Yes, an echo shard. I need those. Okay. There's a warden right here. But there's a chest right there. I think what I'll do is I'll just sneak around here and quickly. Yes! Wait, is that everything I need? He's mad. I gotta get out. Oh gosh. What? Why does he do so much damage? I had full health, right? Well, get me out of here. Well, at least now we can make the recovery compass and my disc. Wait, I still need an echo shard. Oh, we have to be quick with this. Because that, that will happen. That hurts. Yes, okay, we found some more. Yes, home. I have no friends. Let's grab all our discs, and now we can place them all down. And boom, this one row took about five hours. There we go. Let's take a break for a bit and just do a few easy items. Let's do all of the armors. Got leather, iron, gold, and I still need more diamonds. Ugh, gotta go back to mining. Diamonds? Ooh, yo, what? <laughs> this is where I fought the wither. Got 14 there. I still need enough diamonds for netherite armor, so we gotta keep mining. Ooh, wait, only need 11 more. Please. Oh, two more. Okay, we have enough. That took so long. I gotta make another set of diamond armor. And now we have to go back to the nether to get netherite. But I don't want to suffer again. So this time I'm going to use TNT to get my netherite. I only need to get eight ancient debris since I found two netherite ingots at the bastion. Oh! Okay, so we, we found 
four ancient debris that time, and I only have nine more. Oh, we found more. What? All right, well, we only need one more ancient debris. Hopefully this is the one. And we didn't find any. Guess I got a strip mine to get that last ancient debris. Oh gosh. Okay. Ow. Yes, we found it. Okay. All right, I'm done. There we go. This netherite isn't even for me, but we still need to get one more set of armor. And that is chain mail. Just gotta use a few of these. And hopefully if I buy a few of these. Yes, chain mail. Thank you. Chain mail boots. Let's go. Yes, chain mail chest plate. Hopefully helmet. Let's go. We have everything. Now we can place down all of the armor. Chain mail, iron, gold, diamonds, and finally netherite there we go we're almost halfway done and the majority of these items are potions so we're basically almost done no, not really i'm just trying to give myself hope you know because this has taken already like 15 hours let's check on these baby turtles they still haven't hatched uh, you know what i'm just gonna stay here until these eggs actually hatch oh what just happened they cracked oh does that mean it's close to hatching let's just keep waiting yes oh sick hello let's grab a bunch of seagrass and hopefully this allows them to grow faster um i i don't know if that helped it, it did let's go all right we got the skew that might have been the hardest item to get oh how you're wrong <laughs> but we can finally fill in this hole let's go let's grab some melons at how do you make a glistening melon? There we go. Now we have to go to the desert to find desert temples and hopefully some rabbits. Yes. Okay, we got diamond horse armor. We just have to find the other three. Rabbit, come here. Bro, come on. Yes, finally. Yes, another one. Please. I, I, I don't want diamond horse armor. That's not what I want. Okay, please give me it this time. Yes, iron horse armor and gold. Let's go. All we need is the leather horse armor. I don't know how rare that one is. I then spent the next 30 minutes trying to get leather horse armor from a desert temple, but then realized something. Oh, um, well, I can, I can craft it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Well, all this work was for nothing. Give me your leather and boom. Uh, that, that was easy. And... Boom. Now let's try to get every single type of food. This will be fun. First, we got to get an apple. Thank you. Next, we got to get some mushrooms for mushroom stew. Got to make some bread, raw beef, cooked beef, cooked rabbit. Die. Smells some raw pork chop. Die. Oh, mutton. Thank you. All right. Got all of the animals. Now got to kill these fishes. Oh, we got to go back to the warm ocean. So I can now get some tropical fish. Now I got to find a puffer fish. Oh. I, yep, I found one. Come here. Thank you. And now we got all the fish. Let's get all the golden items. Golden carrot, apple, and enchanted golden apple. Let's grab some melons. I think this is how you make a cookie. There we go. Now we got to find some beetroot seeds. Yes, I got some. And all I got to do is plant them down and get a bunch of them. I, I really don't know the point of beetroots. There we go. Now we can make some beetroot soup. How do you make rabbit stew? Oh, what? It's so much. Okay. We got to farm some potatoes. Now we can smelt some. Boom. We got suspicious stew. Big potato. Now we just have to farm potatoes until we get a poisonous potato. How rare are these? Yes. I just got to grab some kelp and smelt it. Jeez, this farm's working. I, I just need one. Thank you. And finally, pumpkin pie. We have everything that we need. Of course, some of the foods are placeable, so I'm not going to put them down. And... There we go. I didn't want to have to give away this enchanted golden apple, but I have to. Oh, there we go. Now let's try to get the rest of the tools. A lead, a clock. Oh, an elytra. Forgot about that. Fishing rod, a bow. Found a crossbow, right? Yep, there we go. But I smelt some copper, so I can now make a spyglass. Oh, gotta grab a saddle. Aim tag, do I already have that? Nope, flint and steel. Oh, and a totem. Here's... There we go. We only need one more. And that is a trident. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that. You know what? Instead of looking for drowns, let's just make a trident farm right here. This will make it so much easier. Now we have to place a bunch of these fence gates. Now we have to tower up. And now we fill all of this in with water. There we go. And now we have to destroy all of these blocks. Hopefully I aligned everything correctly. Now we just got a, a cube of water. Let's go. Let's finish this up. And now we just have to build this part of the farm. 
and it's done and now let's try to afk here hopefully it works all right been about 20 minutes oh no way well <laughs> it's it's working give me a trident Oh, we got a Nautilus shell. I need that. No trident though. Let's AFK longer. All right, this time I AFK for 40 minutes. Okay, yep, there's a lot of them. There must be a trident in here. Yes, wait, oh, three? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Well, um, th th that was successful. And now we got everything. Let's place them all down. There we go. We have like five more rows left. We're so close. The only things we have left to do are getting goat horns, enchantments, potions, and finally banner patterns. First, let's try to get a... Yes! Finally! Gotta get channeling. You'll see why later on. And now I can put it on my trident. Now, we gotta look for some mountains. Hopefully this doesn't take that long. Wait, no way. Sick, that was easy. Now we need to find the goat. Oh, what's up? All right, charge me or something. Let's literally just dig a hole for him. All right, let's just wait here until it hopefully charges at me. Oh! I was not ready for that. <laughs> yes. Nothing? What? Why? Why nothing? Oh, okay. It has to be like a stone block for the goat to lose its horn. Let me try this again. Oh, are you serious? I wasn't ready. No! How'd you hit me? God dang it! I want to try something. I'm going to place a minecart there. So once he charges me, I just get in the minecart. Hopefully this works. Yes, we got it. Oh my god, I actually worked. One down. <laughs> we got to get three from this goat, and then we need to find a screaming goat and get four from them. This will be fun. Oh. Yes, it's the same one. Oh, okay. So for every horn, we have to get a new goat. Let's replace him. All right. Come here. Yes. Let's go. It's a different one. Yes. What is that? Ponder. We have three. Yes. Die. I hate you so much. All right. This is taking too long. Let's try a different strategy. Instead of having only one goat in this area at one time, let's just try to get a bunch of goats into this area at the same time. Here we go. Oh, uh, well, I already have that one, but I'll take it. You suck. Oh, well, I'm just going to kill you. All right. Well, let's try to get more goats. Let's do a quick transition. Three, two, one. I, I hated that. Wait, does that mean it's a screaming goat? Please. Yes! Yearn! That one's actually from a screaming goat. Uh, ow. I just keep getting the same ones. Let's try a different strat. Well, let's go home to grab some stuff. Let's grab all my hay bales. Now I'm going to try the slow way of just breeding them until I get a bunch of screaming goats. All right, guys, come in here and just make some babies. Oh, yeah, I'll just be at this for like hours. Just breeding these goats until I get a few screaming goats. I'm getting so many. They just keep trying to ram me and giving me goat horns. I should have just done this in the beginning. Gotta throw out all of these because my inventory is getting too full. <laughs> All right, and that's it. We're all out of wheat, and we have so many goats. Now it's time to try to get those three goat horns. Wait, is that a new one? Yeah, that's a new one. Call. Let's go. I only need two more. Admire and dream. Please, game. Got more feel, seek, sing. I don't want those. More people rams. More feel, seeks. Wait, is that- that's a new one. Dream. Yes. Put that in there. We need one more. We need admire. Give me it. Please, let's get rid of all of these useless ones. Yes. Where where are they coming from? Feel, ponder, feel. Yeah, I already have call. <gasps> oh my gosh. We got it. Yes. Let me place it in there. We got all eight. We're back. And now we can place all of my goat horns in. Oh, finally. Now we got something fun. We got to get every single enchantment. This actually might be the worst. We got Curse of Binding. So uh, what, one book down. 39 ago and just to save myself from insanity i'm gonna make it so i only have to get the highest version of each type of book so efficiency five but i don't have to get efficiency one to four you, you guys have to cut me some slack i've already been working on this project for 20 hours fortune there we go last protection gotta get two of those uh my anvil broke there we go we don't have enough xp oh well that's not good there we go. Ooh, multi-shot. Fire aspect. Boom. All right. We're all out of villagers. I guess now we have to begin building another section of the villager trading center. There we go. Now we can turn them all into librarians. Feather falling. Punch. Quick charge. Flame. Silk touch. Loyalty. Yes. 
There we go. We're halfway there. Smite. Okay. I need 16 of them. There we go. Um, I should have just tried to get another villager that had smite five. Oh, we still need more. Finally. Got smite five. Hey, depth strider. Leer. Le leer. I can't say it. There we go. Leer. We got leer. Yay. Fire protection. Boom. Respiration. Piercing. No. There we go. We got a full shulker box done. That means we only have 12 more books to go. And we're out of emeralds. There we go. Sharpness 5. Luck of the Sea. Infinity. It's getting so much harder to get new books. Now they already have so many. We're gonna have to build another section. Alright, please give me something good. Oh, looting! And Frostwalker! I'm getting so lucky. Seven more to go. Riptide? Now let's try to get Aqua Affinity. Oh, that was so easy. Okay. Bane of Athropods 2. I mean, I'll take it. We're gonna need eight of these. It broke again. Oh my gosh. Boom. Four more to go. Thorns! Let's go. Yes. Oh my gosh, finally. Now we gotta get soul speed from the nether and a mat of gold. Let's just go look for a bastion. Yes, hello. I gotta be careful. Last time I was here, I almost died. No book. Oh. Yes, oh my gosh. I'm way too lucky. <sighs> okay, well, we got our book. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. Now our last book is Swift Sneak from an ancient city. So, uh, yeah, we gotta go back there. I don't remember if there was any books here and I just didn't look for them. That's multi-shot. That's, that's not what I want. No, that's looting. I don't, I don't need that. Oh my gosh. Come on, we gotta do this quick. I just want the one book. That's Swift Sneak 1. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Oh my gosh. Another warden spawns. He always chasing me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's just have like four out just in case. This is scary. I just want a book. Yes. Thank you. Get me out of here. Well, we got every single type of book. That took so long. Now we can place all of the books down. There we go. Now we only have two more things to do. For our potions, let's first get all of the items for it. Gotta get some sugar, lace powder, glistening melon. Now we gotta kill some gas. Gotta get some magma cream. Thank you. Phantom membranes, fermented spider eye. Now we have to go back to the desert so I can now kill more rabbits. Oh, we got it. That was easy. Let's get one more. While we're here, let's go to this warm ocean and try to find the puffer fish. <sighs> yep. I, I, no, I just realized the last item I need is a turtle helmet. That means I'm going to have to get five scutes. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Let's grab some more seagrass and now tame some turtles. This is going to take so long. Yes, two eggs. Okay. Ooh, hello. Make some babies. Three. All right, great. Thank you. Now we wait. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. Hopefully something has happened. Uh, nope. And... Oh, it's cracked. Been another two hours. If it's not done by now, I... <gasps> Yes! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Let's go collect all the seagrass we can. Now I can try to make them grow quicker, please. Yay! We got one skewt. Only four more to go. This is gonna take a while. All right, let's get more seagrass. Oh, it grew. I got another skewt. Okay, sick. Yes, that's three. That's four. One more dude. Come on. Grow up, please. Yes, finally. Now we can make a turtle helmet. Oh, I gotta get a turtle helmet as an item also. Not just for the potions. Oh my gosh. More breeding. Uh, yay. Why are you guys so slow? Okay, three turtle eggs. More breeding. Yes, six total eggs. All right. Boom. Now we wait again. I love this. Okay. So half is done. We still gotta wait for them. But while we're waiting, we can grow these guys. Yes, that's one. That's two. Yes, three. Please be done by now. Yes. Now grow. Yes, that's four. Yes, that's five. Finally. I can now make my second set of turtle shells and place it in here. Now we have everything we need for potions. Let's make a bunch of glass bottles and brewing stands. And now let's make all of our potions. This will take a while. There we go. I can now make some uh, a thick potion. I, I don't know what that does. Grab some sugar. Boom. And with gunpowder, I can make splash potions. Mundane effect. Can I add gunpowder to it? <gasps> I can make a splash potion of mun mundane. I what, what is that? And now let's brew the rest of our potions. 
we now have every single different potion and splash potion. This took a while. I still have two potions of each in these bring stands because I still need to get lingering potions. First, I have to kill some gas, and now I can make my end crystals, which means I can respawn the dragon. Now, if the dragon shoots at me, let's go. I can grab its breath. I think that's enough. Whoa! Okay, I, I still gotta kill the dragon. There we go. That took so much longer than it should have. Now I can use my dragon's breath, make some lingering potions. And there we go. Just have to grab some of these lingering potions. With these, I can now make my different types of arrows. There we go. We got all the potions, splash potions, lingering, and tipped arrows. Let's go. First, let's place all of our potions. Now all of the splash potions, lingering potions, and finally, all of our arrows. Oh, well, we ran out of space. Let's replace this row with cobblestone and just move everything back. There we go. And boom, that's the final arrow. We just have six more items to go. We just gotta get every single banner pattern. The first few are pretty easy. We gotta grab an oxy daisy. I can grab a wither skeleton skull. And now I can combine all of the items with a piece of paper and make my banners. Now I could make this dude a cartographer. Yes, we got globe. Three down, three more to go. Now we have to go back to the bastion to get another one. Not there. Please give me it. Oh. Uh, it's not in any of these chests. Gotta keep searching. Yes, we found another. Please. Come on, this has to be it. No. Um. <gasps> yes! We got this. Now we have to go around and try to find more desert temples. Or hopefully an enchanted golden apple. Hey! Alright, give me something good. Uh, diamonds, but no enchanted golden apple. Yes, there's a temple. Oh, wait, actually? Okay, well, uh, I'll take it. Now we combine it with paper, and boom, one more to go. This one will actually be pretty easy to do. I have to wait for a thunderstorm. This either will take one day or an entire year, so let let's do it. Oh, that was thunder. Come on, we gotta go quick. Oh, creeper. Let's go. Nope, don't blow up. Okay. Yes, it worked! Let's go! Jeez, that's a big crater. Okay. Um... Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the, the creeper blew up a lot of the items. Hopefully it didn't destroy anything. Boom, and then the tipped arrow. Okay, that was a little scary. Now if we combine the creeper head with a piece of paper. Boom, creeper charge. We got all six. And let's place all of them down. Boom! We're done! Every single non-placeable item in the game, I, I think. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you next one. Peace. I build a house using every nether block in the game. This includes a netherite block, a beacon, and even some nether mobs. Let's first start by building a layout of the house right here. Let's first smooth it out. There we go. Now it's time to build the layout of the house. Oh, that's way too small. And there we go. Oh, that, that took a while. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it looks alright. It'll look much better when there's different blocks around the place. Just to make the house look a little better, let's add a little farm there we go um yeah that didn't really change anything everything that i'm adding will be netherified uh is that a word so uh, yeah let's start getting some nether blocks let's first get all of the blocks from a warp forest uh, ow gotta grab some logs there we go gotta grab some what is this called nylium that, that, that's a dumb name Let's grab a bunch of these blocks on the ground, and some of the blocks in these trees. Oh! Oh! Uh, ow. <laughs> Shoot, I have no more totems. I gotta do this quickly. Just gotta grab a few more of these, and I think we're good. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. There we go. Okay, great start. There we go. Ah. Uh. Creepers suck. Now let's go back to our house right here and craft all of the blocks that we need. Let's replace the logs with these warped ones and replace these planks with some warped. Let's place some fences in here. Place some buttons because, uh, 
why not? It's looking a bit bland. So let's replace this bottom layer with some wart blocks. There we go. Let's add some trap doors. Boom. Oh, we also have to place down a sign. Doesn't add anything, but it's there. Let's add a flooring just so it looks like this area is all warped. And bone meal it. There we go. Oh, that voice crack. Gotta add some vines around the place. Boom. It's actually looking really nice. Uh, kinda. What I think I'll do is have each type of biome in the nether be a section of the house. And finally, the roof. There we go. We still need to use a fence gate and a pressure plate. So let's just replace them for this farm. Oh, and how can I forget? Gotta place the door. And the warp side is done. Now let's try to find a crimson forest. Oh, there we go. Ow. Just gotta get all of the same types of blocks as the warp forest. Just red. Oh, what happened to my villagers? Like half of them are gone. And there's no silk touch villager. Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Yes. Oh, I was so lucky. Let's get back to collecting items. The only difference between warped and crimson forests are these vines. Let's grab a bit of this and some of these nether warp blocks. There we go. Uh, hopefully I got everything. Let's just craft the other blocks. Now let's try to copy everything we did on this side onto this side. Let's add a layer of nether warp blocks and then replace all these planks with the crimson versions. Let's make some details and then boom. Oh yeah, let's add our logs and finally the roof. Boom. Shoot. It kind of looks like blue is taking over in the middle here. So let's just kind of make them share. Uh, yeah, that's the best I could do. Also the top right here. There we go. We also have to replace this floor. Let's add some of these plants on the floor. And also get some nether wart to replace this farm. Just so it matches with the same theme as this red biome. Let's also add some of these vines down here. Uh, I think that looks alright. Add some buttons, a sign just to, to use it, and just place a door right here. And there we go. Second biome done. Now we have to try to find a basalt delta. Out. Yes, finally. We gotta get a bunch of basalt. Gotta grab some magma cubes. Nope. Okay, don't kill me. Now we gotta get some blackstone. That's good enough. Oh, hey. Goodbye. All the different blackstone types aren't actually in this biome, so we're gonna have to try to find a, a bastion. The... Uh, that was easy. Let's begin grabbing all these blocks. Oh yeah, these stairs too. Stop shooting at me. Oh my gosh. Come here. Oh my- Oh! You're so annoying. Gotta grab these. Gilded blackstone. And that's all of them. Now let's go back to the house. Now how do you make all the blocks? Polish basalt. Gotta craft all the blackstones. Okay, I think that's all of them. It's so hard to tell because they're all just black. But first, let's replace these fences with these walls. There we go. Now let's replace these logs with the, the pig face block. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Now let's continue to make this first layer a solid block by using polished black stone. There we go. And let's make the other blocks. Black stone, gilded black stone, polished black stone bricks, and cracked polished black stone bricks. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. Don't. Don't say anything. Let's just randomly place some more blocks there. Let me also place some buttons and a pressure plate right there. Oh, shoot. And boom. Hopefully this works. There we go. Now let's do the roof. Blackstone stairs. Polished blackstone stairs. Polished blackstone brick stairs. Oh my gosh. These names for the blocks. They're so hard to say. And the slabs. There we go. Not too bad. Let's go. It's actually turning out really good. Uh, in, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not a good builder, so I have really low expectations. Let's now do the floor. For this, I'm thinking of using basalt. Just to make it look a little better, let's randomly place some smooth basalt and some magma blocks. Boom. Okay, it still looks pretty bad. Maybe some sideways basalt might make it look better? Uh, okay. Let's grab some lava and just spam some lava around. Oh, okay. That's the best I'm gonna get. This polished basalt doesn't really fit in with this area. So let's kind of make a checkered pattern using these polished basalt blocks. There we go. Oh, shoot. Doesn't look that bad. It's a bit dark, though. So let's add some shroom lights to this ceiling. Much better. And this is all done. Now we're just doing the regular old nether. Gotta grab some quartz and a bunch of netherrack. Okay. Yep. I hate this. I also want to grab some gold, some gravel. Oh, I have fortune three on my shovel. I guess I have to mine this gravel with my hands. All right, well, at least I can use my shovel on the soul sands. 
And while we're here, let's just grab the blocks from the Soul Sand Valley. And there we go. I actually have to just get regular old quartz. You'll see why in a bit. And some glowstone. And finally, we're gonna have to get a bunch of nether brick. There we go. We're technically done with the nether. There are just a few items that might be a challenge to get. I'll just wait to do them later on. Now we just have to make a few more blocks, like smelting some nether bricks or some cracked nether bricks. We're actually gonna have to smelt netherrack and use it to make some red nether bricks. I think that's everything. Now let's go over to the house and first add the floor. No! Oh, my good shovel broke. Eh, uh, whatever. For this floor right here, layer it with netherrack. There we go. And just sprinkle the place with gold ore and quartz. And just to make it look a little better, let's place some fire around the place and some... Oh, get that out of there. Oh, shoot. Well, I, I was gonna place lava there, but I think it would just burn my house down. Now... Oh, shoot! No, 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 no. There's, uh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, well, my, my house, uh, forgot that wood burns. Let's replace this part of the house with some nether bricks. Try to make it look like a fortress. Got nether bricks, cracked nether bricks, and chiseled nether bricks. That's actually pretty sick. It's a wither skeleton. Let's just fill this in. There we go. And replace this with some nether brick stairs. Boom. Let's also kind of intertwine it with this top area. There we go. Let's add some fences right here. Here. And let's also make a small section for our red nether bricks. Some right here too. And boom. We can also replace the wall right here with our red and regular nether bricks. This part done. Shoot. I don't have a shovel anymore. No. We're gonna have to mine a bit out here. Let me at least get a wooden shovel. There, uh, <laughs> there, there we go. Not much faster, but it, it's something. There we go. And replace it with some soul sands and soul soil. There we go. Oh, and the fire is different. Just a little bit of lava. Ow. And we only have one more section to go. And if you're smart and saw me get all of this quartz, you will know what I'm doing next. Quartz pillar, quartz stairs, quartz slabs. And we're gonna have to smelt some of my block of quartz. Thank you. Smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, chiseled quartz block. That's everything. We just have to do this last part. Let's replace these logs, with some quartz pillars, and do this bottom layer with bone blocks. Ow, hey, hey, it does so much damage, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Now let's add a block of quartz, quartz bricks, smooth quartz block, and chiseled quartz block. Finally, the roof. Shoot, I'm all out of blocks. Gotta grab some more nether quartz. Oh, jeez, you do damage. There we go. And now, I can finish off this roof. Boom, we can make it look a little better by adding a window. There we go, that's, we, we've done it. I'm, I'm gonna die. Let me also add some glowstone. There we go. It's basically done. We only need to get eight more blocks. Some of them will be impossible, but, um, yeah, let's do it. First, we have to try to find a ruins nether portal. Yes, there we go. Ow. Let's grab some obsidian and some crying obsidian. Gonna have to grab some of this gold blocks. Thank you. Now let's go and try to find some bridge bastions. Yes. What's up, guys? Uh, don't kill me. Let me grab this gold. Now I'm trying to find a lodestone. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, guys. You you killed yourselves, not me. I gotta look in some of these chests for a lodestone. Nope. Yes, another chest? Oh, actually, I need that. Thank you for the diamond shovel. While I'm here, let me trade with these dudes. Don't kill me. Or some more crying obsidian. What the? Jeez. Oh. Well, thanks for the crying obsidian. Oh, I have all that I need. Well, you guys suck, so just... Just die. Okay, yeah, I've been looking for a while. I can't find anything. And I have no totems, so I think it'll just be safer to go home. At least now, I can make a respawn anchor, a soul campfire, some soul torches, and finally, some soul lanterns. There we go. Only got three more items to get. And those are ancient debris, netherite block, and a lodestone, all requiring netherite. Oh. So, let's grab some gunpowder and some sand. There we go. I can now make a bunch of TNT. And now, let's go netherite mining. We're gonna need a total of 41 ancient debris. Uh, okay. This is gonna take a while. Yes, ancient debris. That's one, two, <laughs> that, that, that's it. And I used up 40 TNT there. Oh gosh, gotta try again. Yes. Five, and that's it. Oh my gosh, one stack of TNT down. Why is there just a wall of lava? Yes, that's eight. And there's more over there. Oh my gosh. Why? Well, we have 10. Yes. So we have 10 TNT left and we still need six more ancient debris. I, I, I think we can do it. Please be lucky. 
Yes. Got three right here. And there's some over here. Please. That's one. That's two. No. We need one more ancient debris. Come on. Well, I guess we have to mine for the last ancient debris. Yes. Let's go. Get me out of here. Now we can smelt it. Thank you. Now I can make a lodestone and a netherite block. <laughs> I love how I have a block of netherite, but I don't have netherite tools yet. Yes, I still have three more wither skeleton skulls. Now I can spawn the wither. Boom. Shoot. I should have grabbed potions, but whatever. Diamonds. Give me that. Oh, what the? Okay. Well, I had to grab those diamonds. Oh, I can still win this. I just have to be careful. Come on. It's actually working. Oh, well, that was a little scary. Anyways, now I can make my last item, a beacon. And that is everything. Wait, I still have to get one more thing. And that is another Wither Skeleton Skull. Those three I had were the last ones. Well, I guess I have to go back to this fortress to get one more Wither Skeleton Skull. What? What? I, I got it. Se second try. Um, well, d uh, okay. That's that's everything. <laughs> but I'll take it. Let's just grab these items and place them around the place. Maybe add a respawn anchor right here. A gold block. Ancient debris. A lodestone there. And now we can place the beacon there. The block of netherite there. And the wither skeleton skull. I also have to place some soul lanterns. Some soul torches. And finally, a soul campfire. Let's use it to make a small chimney. And there we go. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it looks all right. But there we go. All of the items are placed, but we're not done just yet. Let's do one more thing, and that is to get a zombie piglin into this house. Let's first break this portal and bring it above ground. Boom. And now let's do this. All right, get in the boat. Shoot. How am I going to lift him up? Eh? That... Okay, okay, that was easy. He's in the overworld. Let's go. Get in the boat, and let's just slowly boat towards there. This... This will take a while. You know what? What we can do is punch him. And now he's chasing me. Come on. Let me call you Frederick. <laughs> Great name. All right, get in here. Yes. Shoot, what do I do? Uh, there we go. Yes, you're locked in there. Let's go. Hello. All right, Frederick, stay there. I gotta get a name tag. Boom. Oh, what's up? Um, well, here's your name tag, Frederick. Get back in your house. Thank you. There we go. We have him. He's Frederick now. The house with every single nether block is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. All right, bye. I got every advancement in hardcore Minecraft. It started off easy with advancements like fishing, but moved to some nearly impossible ones, like getting every effect in the game. So I already have a bunch of the advancements completed because I've played on this world for so long, but I still have so many more to go. Let's do some of the easy ones first. Let's grab some leather and make some boots. And there we go. That was easy. Yes, and there's a goat. So now, I can place him in a boat. Like this. What type of achievement is this? It's already two down. Uh... A bunch more to go. Let's now go back home. And if I literally just... Ow. Let me, let me just borrow these for a sec. There we go. We got sticky situation. Let's now try to find some copper. Uh, you're not copper. Yes. Uh, smelt it. Thank you. Now if I grab some honeycomb. Boom. I can do this. Oh, and this. Wow. Two achievements just like that. Oh, I can also use the copper to make a spyglass. Okay, I have to look at a gas. Now we gotta go to the jungle. Hey, hello. The bird. There we go. Now we're gonna have to grab some obsidian. Never mind, you don't need obsidian. I'm... I'm stupid. Instead, we need to get some gas gears. So now we can make our end crystal. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Why are there pigmen there? Uh, anyways, now we can respawn the dragon. Hey, I gotta, I gotta look at him. Is it a plane? Another achievement down. And while we're here, let's try to find an end city. Hey, there we go. Come on, hit me. Let's go. And now we have every achievement in the end. We still got a lot to go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. We gotta kill this dude. There we go. Next, let's grab this fishing rod and let's fish. No, you know what? Let's not even do that. I saw this on the internet. Let me grab some fish and I throw this fish on the ground. <laughs> there we go. That was so easy. Now, this next achievement should be hard for players, but because I have this iron farm, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy for me. Let's make some iron blocks. Now, let's grab a beacon. And... There we go. Let me grab a crossbow. And if I just do this, gotta kill it. Boom! Two achievements, just like that. This game is so easy. Okay, I shouldn't be saying that. In a few hours, I'm gonna be doing the hardest achievement, and I'm gonna regret saying that. Now, the next few achievements are gonna be pretty easy, so let me just quickly do them. Country load, take me home. Not quite nine lives. Boat has legs. Be our guest. And lo and behold, five done, just like that. We still got, like, what? 30 more, but uh, progress. Y yay. Now this next advancement is gonna be pretty scary. We're gonna have to make a water bucket clutch from height limit down to bedrock. I might, I might die. But I'll take these. All right, finally bedrock. Now we have to build all the way to build limit. 
finally. I, I can't even see the floor. This is gonna go so well. Here goes nothing. Oh gosh, I'm dead. All right, <laughs> well, I, I didn't clutch, but uh, I, I got the achievement. Now I'm gonna build all the way to height limit. Why is this taking so long? Finally, and now I'm gonna have to place a whole railway going all the way down. And boom. All right, villager, come with me. Let me just push this villager and hopefully he's able to get all the way up. There we go, hello. Welcome to height limit. Okay, so if I trade with you here, let's go so far that was the hardest achievement yeah now let's make a target block i'm gonna have to hit a bullseye from this distance okay there's no way let's just kind of cheat so if i place a trap door right here and just shoot a bunch of arrows and then i just connect some redstone to the trap door and once i activate it boom bullseye oh shoot Oh, it's thundering. Oh my gosh. Let me grab some copper. I can make a rod. And we have to go to the village really quickly. What? Where was that from? Okay, well, uh, well, we'll think about that later. Well, I have to find a villager. Boom. There we go. Very, very frightening. Well, I don't know how I got protective villager from an undesired tribe. I somehow got the achievement. I mean, I, I won't complain. I have to kill a skeleton from 50 blocks away. I think I can do it. Let's try to find a skeleton. Yes, hello. Let me trap you in there. And now... Let's go! Now we're gonna have to go and try to find an axolotl. Grab a bucket. I think they spawn in lush caves. But... Uh, oh, uh, okay. That, that was easy. <laughs> yes, let's go. Hello. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Uh, well, I'm gonna take you and use you for another achievement. Attack this dude. Let's go! Now, this next one should be hard, but I only have six more mobs to kill. So let's do it. Gonna have to kill an endermite, which might take a while to get. Gotta grow a bunch of these pearls. And now I have to just spam pearls on the ground until an endermite spawns. Oh, yes! Alright, well, I guess I'll do it up here. Oh. Fine, I killed it. Let's go. Next, we're gonna have to go to the ocean monument to kill an elder guardian. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, why was that so easy? Now we're gonna have to do something pretty fun. We're gonna have to grab some obsidian. Thank you. Now I have to find a hoglin. Go in. What is that? He literally went inside the portal. What? Get in there. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, finally. Come on, turn into it. Finally. Oh, I, I hated that. Only three more. Let's go to a desert. Now I can kill some husks. Yes, let's die. We only got one more to go. And the last mob I haven't killed is somehow a slime, which doesn't make sense since I literally made a slime farm. But I guess I've never actually killed a slime by hand. Boom, monsters hunted, let's go. It may look like we're almost done, but the hardest ones take so long to complete. Now we're gonna try to get feels like home achievement, which is where I have to ride a strider 50 blocks in the oval. Oh, you went in. Okay. Hello. Now we have to build a 50 block long rip of lava. Place all of the lava down. So if I start moving, hopefully I will get the achievement. There we go. Now we have to get a gas to the open. Uh, yeah, 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 let's do it. But to do this, we're going to need a bunch of obsidian. All right, I think that's enough. Let's grab this fishing rod and now somehow get a gas into the overworld. Uh, this, this might take a while. Let's make the portal. I think I'm going to make it 10 by 10. Let's light it and now try the impossible task of fishing rod them into the portal. Get in. Oh, come on. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Why are there so many gas? I'm going to die. Oh, he was in. I'm going to get this. Come on. Come on. Get in! No! He went in! Please! Oh my gosh! Please, 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 please! Yes! Oh my gosh! I, uh... I, I wanna die. But now, let's have some fun with some allays. I don't think there's any allays here, right? There's an iron golem and no allay. Ah, uh, so we're gonna have to go flying and try to find another outpost. Hey, finally! So is there any allays? What the? There's even more on this side, what? <laughs> Alright, allay. Come with me. So now if I give him a like, piece of netherrack, throw a bunch of them on the floor, we'll go pick them up. And thank you, yes. You gotta milk a bunch of cows and make some cakes. So now, here I lay, grab the cake. If I throw a cake on the floor, then hit this. Birthday song, let's go. So I'll make a jukebox. Just grab one of my CDs real quick. Now we have to try to find the meadows. Yes, meadow. Now all I have to do is... I, I don't know why this is an achievement, but, uh, yay. Next, let's try to go to every single biome. I only have one more biome to go because I've been flying for so long. And I know that it's the mushroom biome. So, let's just fly and hope that it doesn't take too long. Yes, finally. Come on. 
Boom, adventuring time. Uh, that was much easier than getting a gas into the overworld. Next, let's grab some slime balls, a few leads, and let's go find a mangrove swamp. Yes, all right. Now, where are frogs? That's, you're not a frog. Yes. Okay, finally. Jeez. Make some babies. Yes. He spawned some tadpoles. Now we just gotta wait for them to hatch? Yes. Okay. Now, bah. We got three tadpoles in a bucket. I don't know why this is a thing, but okay. Now we have to go to a plains biome right over here and just place a tadpole in here. Now this part might take a while, but we have to wait for him to fully grow up. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Oh, yes! Finally! Oh my gosh. Well, let me put you on a lead, and then I can build a portal. Boom. Come with me. Now we have to find a magma cube. Please don't die. Jump up here. Come on. Yes, basalt delta. Oh my god, finally. Oh, hello. All right, follow me. I hate this. Let me grab the frog. All right. Yes! We got a frog light. Finally! That's one down. Two more to go. To get the last frog, we're gonna have to go to an ice biome. But before we do that, let's break this portal and place it next to this frog. Let's just mine this way. Let's go. We found another basalt delta. Don't jump in that lava. Nope. Don't eat it. Let's go! We got our second one. Let's now fly over to a snow biome. Yes, finally. So now I can place my last tadpole dude here. And once he grows up, he'll turn into the last variant of the frog. Yes, finally. And then if I put a lead on, we got that achievement. Let's now make another portal. Boom. There's a magma cube down there. We just have to boat over here. Eat them. Let's go! Oh my god, finally! We got every single frog light. <laughs> Why did that take so long? Get me out of here. Now let's eat every food in the game. Let's first eat all of the raw meat, raw salmon, right, uh, raw pork chop, raw mutton, raw chicken, rabbit, and tropical fish. Let's now cook all of our meat. So we got rabbit, salmon, cod, and chicken. Now let's have some fried flesh, spider eye, Ow. cookie, potato. We're also gonna have to smelt one of them. Thank you. Rabbit stew, carrot, and we're gonna have to plant some potatoes until we get... Finally, a poisonous potato. Jeez. I got five stacks of potatoes before I got a poisonous potato. Mushroom stew. Suspicious stew. Let's grab some kelp and smelt it. Thank you. We got dried kelp. Honey bottle. Low berries. Melon slice. Sweet berries. Apple. Beet root. Beet root soup. Pumpkin pie. Bread. Now we're gonna have to go to the end to grab some coarse fruit. Now I went over to this warm ocean to try and find a puffer fish. Oh, hello. Die. We got a puffer fish. Ow. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, well, I'm never eating a pufferfish again. We only have one more food to get. Oh! Okay, and that will be an enchanted golden apple. We're just gonna have to go to every single desert temple, and hopefully there's one inside of it. And of course, I didn't get it. Let's keep searching. Oh, we found another. Okay, please. A golden apple and a diamond, but not what I'm looking for. But hopefully there's one in this desert pyramid. Mom. Oh, <gasps> yes! Let's go! Uh, I, I don't want to eat it, but I, I have to. Boom! Let's go! Easy! One of the harder achievements done. We still have, uh, a lot of the really hard ones to do. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. Now let's breed every animal. Let's grab some wheat. Now make some babies. There we go. Gotta breed some cows. And now we need to find some pigs. And there you go. Now let's breed some horses. We're gonna need to tame two. Come on, love me. Thank you. And you. Yes. All right. Now you two make a baby horse. I make a little baby donkey. There we go. Yes. Some llamas. Just like all the other animals, we have to tame them first. Yes. We have to catch some tropical fish. Come on. There we go. And now we need to find some axolotls. Oh, they're okay. Okay. Nope. Don't. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's go. We're halfway there. Let's grab some flowers and I can tame some bees. Let's now go to the nether. Grab some of these and breed some hoglins. I'm going to die. Oh, okay. Well, just uh, make babies. Thank you. Oh, get me out of here. Let's breed some striders. Now let's try to go look for some dogs. We got to grab some bones. Oh, there's a fox. Let me grab some sweet berries. Let's grab him by a lead. Oh, a dog. Yes. Uh, you, you killed my fox, but whatever. I can breed this dude. We need one more. There's a fox. Come with me. So while we're trying to find a dog, we also have a fox to breed. Yes, there's another. Make a baby. Let's go. All right. Now we need to find another dog. Oh, finally. Let's now grab some carrots and go back to this desert to breed some rabbits. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Let's go back to the mushroom islands and make some mushroom babies. We only have four more to go. Come on. Let's now kill a bunch of these fish. All right, I think that's good enough. And now we have to go to a jungle. We can grab some bamboo, and hopefully there are some pandas around that I can tame. Ooh, there's one panda. Yes, there's another. Okay, just both of you guys follow me. Come, no, come here. 
Come on. Oh my god, you're so slow. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's go, baby panda. <laughs> now we have to find some ocelots. Oh, hello. Can I put him on a lead? He's so fast. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can't run away now, huh? <laughs> yes, there's another dude. And... Let's go. Yes, and there's a cat. Boom. Now we just have to breed a donkey and a horse to get a mule. And finally, we have to breed these two cats. There we go. Let's get a few piercing books and combine it with my crossbow. Now we're going to have to try to trap five different mobs in this area. All right, we got a zombie. Oh, got a pig Get in here. There we go. Yes, we got a creeper. Okay. All right, we got the chicken. And now we only need one more mob. All right, dog. Got to push him in here. There we go. I got to make sure to weaken them a bit so that they all die in one shot. Okay. I think we're ready. I'm a little scared, but... Oh, let's go. All right. Well, that one was pretty tough, but we got a, a tougher one right now. We have to wait till phantom spawn, and then we have to kill two of them with one shot. Oh, they're phantoms. Yes. Whoop. Killed him. Oh, they're both really weak. I have to wait till they're lined up, and then I can shoot. <laughs> I juked him. Boom! Two birds with one arrow! That was actually really easy. Okay. Well, we only have three more achievements to go. Let's now go try to find a bunch of villages to tame some cats. I never actually looked around this village for a cat. Oh, there, there's a cat. Hello. Let's go! This is our second type of cat. Oh, there's actually another cat here? What? I thought only one can spawn in each village. I mean, okay. Three down. Only uh, eight more to go. This... This is very fun. Gotta keep looking for more villages. Yes, okay, we found the desert village. Where is the cat? Oh, there you are. Nope. Love me. Thank you. Found another? Let's go. Yo, there's another. Nope, you're not unique. Yo, there's a third cat in this village? One. There we go. Let's go. Only three more. Let's go. Yes, another village. There's a cat. I mean, I'm getting so lucky. All of the cats I've tamed have been unique. I'm at nine out of 11. Only need one more unique one. And then the last one is a black cat from a witch's hut. Hello, cat. Yes? Uh, okay, that's not a unique one. I might have jinxed myself. Uh, hopefully this 10th cat doesn't take forever to find. Nope. Uh, I, I don't think this is a new cat. I definitely jinxed myself. Gotta keep looking. Nope. Let's go. Yes! Oh! We got the last cat. Okay, not the last cat. We still have to find a witch hut. Yes? Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, n never mind. There's no witch oh. hut. What is this? This is the entire swamp. Are you serious? Ugh, gotta keep looking. Yes. Okay, this is an actual big swamp, so please. <gasps> yes! Let's go! Come with me. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Okay, that took forever. So we basically have only one more achievement left. And that is, how did we get here? We're gonna have to be at a spot where we're near a pillager outpost and an ocean temple. Which is so lucky because they're both right next to spawn. Yeah, okay. Let's use this island to do our system. We need to grab a shulker, which is actually super easy. Oh, there we go. All right, now we have to push. Oh, I just gotta box him in. No, I hate Shulker so much. Okay, he's in. It's one down, uh, a lot more to go. We gotta take this beacon and move it over here. Boom. Now, luckily, I have this trident farm, so getting Nautilus shells will be really easy. We got four right there. Yes, and one right here. Yes, a shipwreck, literally right next to my islands. Fairy treasure map, let's go. Got a heart of a sea, and now I can make a conduit. Gotta grab some of this prismarine. Oh, God. Ow, okay. Now I can mine a little area. Let's build the area for my conduit. There we go. We're gonna need to get one more thing. We're gonna have to get a warden. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Let's build a portal here and cover around it in wool. And boom. This is where the warden will be staying. Now we have to place a noisemaker. Now we gotta build a quick pathway to the ancient city. There we go. All right, now we have to spawn a warden. I have to be ready. I'm scared. Hello. Okay. Um, just follow me. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Hey, jump in. Where did he go? Oh, what? You're in the lava. Uh, why, why are you there? Oh, okay. What the hell? Well, he's chasing me. Okay. Now we just have to run all the way back to that island. And hopefully not die. Okay. We're almost there. Come on. Get in. Yes. I don't want to go in this because I feel like if I do, I'll immediately die. So let's go in this portal and hopefully the warden is in its cage. Yes. Okay. He's in here. So we have everything except the potions. There we go. Now I got to make some suspicious stew. We got to grab some spectral arrows. Now we have to get two more things. We got to get a wither rose. All right, chicken, come on. You're going to stand right here for when the wither, uh, you know, does some things to you. All right, we got the wither rose. Come on. There we go. And the last thing we have to get is uh, a, a golden apple. Yes. Maybe the first one will get me a... Uh, never mind. All right. This is the one. Please. Yes. There we go. We got everything. Oh, wait. No. No, we don't. I forgot to grab a dolphin. Come with me. Just jump right in. 
Not, not there. Yes, finally. Okay, just gotta block him off, and it's all done. Okay, I'm a little scared to do this, because if I mess up, I'm gonna have to redo everything. But let's do it. First, we gotta get Bad Omen. Now we have to get Hero of the Village from this far. Yes, there we go. Let's get Mining Fatigue. There we go. Okay, we have five minutes. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's first throw all of our potions. Eat the golden apple. Come on. Give me it. Yes. Levitating. Spectral arrow. Eat the puffer fish. Let's go. And let's go. We did it. I hope you enjoyed this video because it took so long to make. If you did, subscribe. All right, bye. I built a biome in every color in hardcore Minecraft. Each biome will have a unique theme, so stick around to see what it looks like. So what I'm thinking of doing is to make a giant rainbow with all of the colors and place the biomes on top. For this, we're gonna need a bunch of concrete. So let's gather some sand. There we go. And some gravel. We're gonna need about 50 stacks of this. Yeah, the build's gonna be pretty big. Oh, uh, I, for I forgot about that. Well, now I have no shovel. It's fine, because we have all the gravel we need. Now I'm gonna have to get a bunch of every single die. Maybe like a stack, which isn't really hard for red and yellow, since I can just bone meal like this. But it's difficult to get dyes like green, because I'm gonna have to get a bunch of cactus. There we go. I gotta smelt it. Thank you. I gotta make some orange dye and purple dye. And that's all the dyes. Now let's make all of the concrete. There we go. Oh yeah, we're also gonna need white concrete. So let's grab some bone blocks. Thank you. And there we go. Now we have everything. Oh gosh. We're gonna have to do one more thing before we can actually start building. What the- I'm gonna have to change all of this concrete powder into concrete. This- this is gonna be great. I don't know what the most efficient way to do this is, so I'm just gonna build all the way up and mine it all down. Uh, yeah, this- this is gonna take a while. There we go. So we finished red. We- we have six other colors to do. Yeah, let's- let's get to it. You know what? Let's do a quick transition. In three, two, one, boom. I, I, I hated that. We still have another box to do. Oh, great. Uh, three, two, one again. Uh, I, I want to die. Oh, well, we did it. Okay, finally, we can start building. So because the build's going to be a rainbow, I'm thinking of building it up in the sky. So let's just build up a little. Maybe this high. There we go. Now let me grab my white concrete so I can begin to build a cloud for my rainbow to be on. Oh gosh. So the cloud's gonna have to be this long to have enough layers to hold all the colors of the rainbow. But that means that this cloud is gonna look really stupid. And eh, whatever. Let me try to make it look at least decent. There we go. This is... <laughs> This is our cloud. Okay, yeah, it's it's a bit flat, so let's add a few layers on top of it. Wow. Okay, uh, we finished the cloud with one white concrete left. Well, the cloud is done. It's still really flat on the top, but that's because there's gonna be a rainbow on, so you won't really notice that it's flat. But now we have to make another cloud all the way over there. We, we gotta grab more white concrete. This is gonna be fun. Gotta turn all of this into concrete. There has to be a better way to do this. Oh, finally. Now we can work on the other cloud. Let's just make an identical cloud right over here. Maybe I'll try to make it a little better than that one. There we go. The cloud is done. It actually might look worse than the first cloud. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, whatever. The two clouds are done. So now I can work on the actual rainbow part of this build. Let's just build the quick template of what the rainbow will look like. Something like this. There we go. That's the rainbow. And now let's just extend this a little bit. Then change to orange. And then yellow. And then green. Blue. And finally purple. There we go. The rainbow is going to be this long. It might look a bit disproportional but uh, whatever it's gonna work Tr trust me now we just have to copy this rainbow with all of these colors that's all of red now let's work on the other colors come on we're on the last color oh finally i don't even know what this is it's just a, a layer of colors okay from down here it looks like a rainbow all right well we're done thank you for watching <laughs> and i'm joking we now have to add the biomes on top yeah this, this will be fun let's first start with red so of course the biomes we're gonna do is the nether and crimson forest so let's go to the nether and grab a bunch of netherrack there we go. I think that's enough netherrack. Now we have to go to a crimson forest and grab a bunch of this nihilium. Oh, hi. Oh, no. What? 
Jeez. What the hell was that? <laughs> there we go. We have enough. Now we can just place all of the nether blocks on top of this rainbow. Let's make half of this rainbow netherrack. And then the other side, nylium. But uh, Hello? All right, <laughs> let's just place it all around here. There we go. Let's also combine these two blocks together. So it looks like the biomes are kind of merged together. Just like this. We can now bone meal this entire crimson forest. Add a few trees around the place. There we go. And we can add a bunch of gold and nether quartz all around the place like this. And uh, yes, this is red. There may be some white stuff in it, but I, I don't want to hear it. It's mostly red, so... It, sh shut up. Now, this isn't all we're gonna do. I can now grab a bunch of this nether brick from this fortress. Thank you. Now we can make the house. So I'm thinking of building it right here and again, mixing the two biomes by having a bit of nether brick and switching over to the crimson blocks. And I usually just build a really boring house, but this time I really want to change it up and try to make something different. I don't know if it'll look good, but uh, whatever. It'll be a new experience. There we go. So far, it, it looks all right. Oh, we're gonna have to take down this tree. It's in the way of my amazing build. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we have the basic shape of the house and yeah, it's, it's something. <laughs> we have to slowly change the blocks to nether brick. And boom. Let's also add a few fences around the place, hopefully to make it look better like this. But there we go. Okay, it's, it's not terrible. But boom, this first color is done. Now let's move over to orange. This one will be much easier to do because all we need is red sands and lava. Let's just gather some, oh wow, some iron. That's a lot. And make some buckets. Now I can go get some lava. I think that's enough. Let's go back home with all of this lava. And now let's just go crazy, placing it all down. Just gotta get this last one. Worth it. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my God. Oh my god! Okay, I'm an idiot. Well, it's all filled in. The lava part of this orange side is done. Now we have to go find the Badlands and get a bunch of red sand. And we gotta get enough to cover the rest of the orange side and enough to build the structure. You'll see what it is in a bit. Okay, I think that's enough. Now let's place all of this red sand down. There we go. Oh yeah, and just like this red part, let's kind of intertwine these two biomes. Something like this. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know why it looks so bad. What? But now we can start building the structure. And I'm thinking of making a sand castle. But I am thinking of combining it with this yellow area. Because this yellow area is going to be all desert. So let's just cover all of this yellow with sands. There we go. Now we can start on the sand castle. Let's first build an outline of the house. Something like this. And now let's build up the walls. There we go. And just to make this look a little better, let's split this build in two. B besides this already. I meant let's make this part of the building a little bit taller. Something like this. But there we go. <laughs> two boxes. I'm such a great builder. We're not done yet though. Let's now make a little fencing around this part. Add a few fences. Something like this. And let's do the same up here. Like this. Okay. We're, uh, we're getting somewhere. Kind of. Let's now add a small ceiling top or whatever like this let's make another one of those right here like this let's add a few hay bales and there we go it's actually not that bad i mean okay for for my building standards this is surprisingly one of my best builds which is a kind of sad but whatever so the orange area is done but i still want to build one more structure for this yellow area and that is the best structure in the game a desert well <laughs> it's one of the easiest structures to build all you have to do is make a five by five area build up a few place some slabs raise this up a bit and boom uh yeah that, that was easy oh shoot i almost forgot i still have to add all my dead bushes on the orange side there we go both the yellow and orange side is done we're halfway done we only have three more to go so now for this green side we're gonna have to get a bunch of grass and now we have to try to find a lush cave yes to get a bunch of this moss i i should have grabbed a hoe this might take a while there we go. And now let's add the blocks. One side for the plains biome. Let's let it take over just a bit more. Just because I have a bit more plans for this plains biome compared to this lush biome. But there we go. Now I can make some bone meal and just spam it all over the place. Just like this. Where? Oh, do drip leaves not spawn? Well, I gotta go get some drip leaves. Thank you. Now I can place some around this place. Just like this. Make them a bit taller. <coughs> 
and boom. Let me also grow one of these trees. Now let's work on this plains biome. First, just right up here, let's bone me a little bit. Let's place some saplings down. Boom, one more right here. And there we go. Now this final part is gonna be kind of like a farmland. So let's grab some melons, some seeds, and sugarcane. I'm gonna need to grab some water. Let's first start with the wheat and just spam a bunch of seeds down. Gotta make sure to add some water. Boom. Now let's plant some melons. Kinda do a zigzag here. And now let's place all of our sugarcane down. Let's grow all of our crops. And there we go. And don't come at me with, oh, this this wheat isn't green. Oh, okay, shut up. I don't want to hear it. It was green. The, the seeds were green. So that's that's good enough for me. All right. <laughs> we just have to wait for the rest of the melons to grow. Three, two, one. Boom. That... That, that took way longer than I expected. Oh, finally, we can move on to blue. So, of course, I'm gonna do the ocean and the warped forest. So, let's now go to the nether and get a bunch of these warped blocks. We're also gonna have to grab some of these trees to build the structure in the blue area. There we go. Now, I can place it on this half of the blue area. And, of course, this other side will be an ocean. So, we need to get some water and place it down. Let's fill this all in. And there we go. And now, we can start building the houses. I think I'll make a small hut using these warped blocks. Boom, there we go. The house is, uh, never mind. We'll gotta add the door. And we're gonna have to grab some sands to make some cyan stained glass. Just gotta place these in here. Come over here. And boom, the house is done. Not my best work ever, but it, it looks all right. Right? Whatever. Now let's combine the two biomes together. And let's bone meal the area just to make it look a little better. So this house... I guess I'll call it. it. Doesn't look so bad on its own. There we go. Let's now build a structure in this ocean area. I just gotta grab a few buckets of milk. And now let's grab some prismarine. Are you serious? Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna build a really small version of the ocean monument. Boom, perfect amount of walls. Now I gotta place some stairs around the place. Fill this area in with blocks. Add one piece of dark prismarine and fill the rest with stairs. I, I don't have enough. There we go. I mean, it, it looks all right. Maybe a sea lantern right here. That actually, that doesn't look that bad. Let me add some signs right here. And there we go. The blue side is done. We only have one more color to go. The only problem is I don't know what biomes to do for for purple because there's really nothing that's purple okay i can do amethyst geodes there we go it's it's a bit plain and i don't really want to fill this entire thing with just a plain amethyst biome i guess so i think what i'll do is go to the end and gather a bunch of this end stone and some of these chorus fruit. There we go. And now we can place a bunch of endstone on this side of the color. Now you may be wondering, wait, this is uh, this is white, right? Well, yes, but if I spam around some of these chorus flowers, something like this, and let it grow, boom. Uh, that took a while. So as you can see, it's it's mostly purple. So yeah, now let's start on the structures. For the amethyst side, let's kind of build a mushroom made out of am amethyst. And uh, this calcite. Again, it's it's white, but just let it pass, all right? It will look so ugly if I try to make a house just out of amethyst. I just gotta make a quick mushroom top. There we go. Yay. That actually looks pretty good. We can also place some of these clusters around the place. I can also add a bed. And for the door, I can add a, a banner. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. This is our, our mushroom. It looks it looks all right. I'll add a few more details, but for now, it's pretty much done. Let's now move over to this end biome. We have to go back to the ends, and we have to try to find an end city. Yes. And I just have to tear down this entire end city. Let's also grab some of these end rods. And there we go. Now let's work on this last build. And if you figured it out by now, I am, of course, making an end city i want it to be an entire end city so i'm just gonna make a very small version of one there we go this is the first building let's now just build off of it and add some more buildings we got the baby end ship and let's now work on the last building and there we go the baby end city is done so we're basically done with this build but because we have a few extra blocks let's add more detail to this amethyst build let's add some more of these pillars with some end rods some here too we can also do it on this side let's add a window and boom building biomes with every color is finally done this video took so long to make so please subscribe all right bye this is a beacon pretty boring right so today i transform a beacon by adding every building block to it this includes a netherite block and so much more so before we start gathering all the materials we're gonna need a place to actually build this beacon so let's first make a platform there we go and now we need to grab some iron oh that that's a lot 
I'm gonna make this one extra layer just so there's more blocks for me to replace with all of the different blocks. Boom. There we go. Now, this may not look like a lot, but this is about 600 blocks, meaning 600 different blocks that I have to replace. This, uh, th this will be fun. I think I'm gonna start with the easier blocks and move over to the hard ones. So, let's first start with wood. We got oak, birch, spruce. Now, we got some acacia wood, jungle, and finally mangrove. Oh, hello. Now, we're gonna have to craft all the different types of wood that we need and place the wood in. Dude, I'm gonna have to mine this again. Maybe I shouldn't have built this giant pyramid. Now we gotta strip this layer. And finally, there we go. That's all of the wood. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I forgot about the nether woods. Crimson and warped. And now the woods are done. Now let's place down all the leaves. Shoot, I don't have the dark oak leaf. Uh, this, this challenge might take longer than I thought. Boom. We still got a few more blocks, like these roots and mud. We're gonna make some of this. And now we can place dirt, forest dirt, and rooted dirt. I, I didn't even know this one was a thing, but okay. And we gotta grab some of these dripstone blocks and finish off this layer. Boom. Now we're gonna go for some pretty easy blocks. Got some grass. Yes, one of these amethyst balls or whatever. Gotta grab some amethyst, this white stuff, and this outer layer. I... I don't know what any of this is called. Now we gotta grab some sands and red sands. And boom, we're almost done with this first layer. We are making some progress. But of course, the higher we go, the harder it will be to get each block. So right now it looks really easy, but it's it's gonna get impossible. Let's now work on all the blocks underground. So we got the easy ones like cobblestone. Gotta grab some more of this white stuff. And there we go. Now we have to go a little bit lower so we can grab some of this deep slate. Uh, hello? Also, some of this tough? That, is that what it's called? That's that's a great name for a block. But there we go. We now have to craft some more blocks. We also have to... We also have to smelt... Come on. We also have... Are you serious? Come on. We also have to smelt some blocks. Oh, shoot. I also have to get some mossy cobblestone. Okay, so I can create it with the vine. I guess I gotta go back to the jungle. Uh, I love this game. All right, finally. Jeez. Let me grab all that I can, just so I never have to fly back over here. Now we have everything. Okay, and for these last two, we're gonna have to make some mud. How do you do it? There we go. Packed mud. You gotta make mud and wheat. What? Gotta do this, and we can make some bricks. There we go. Now this last row... Get out of my way. We'll just be the useful blocks. Like the crafting table, barrel, smoker, blast furnace, fletching table, and smithing table. This one will actually be pretty hard to get. It's gonna be a lodestone, which requires a full netherite ingot. So let's make some TNT to mine for some ancient debris. Uh, okay. We still have to get two more. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I was gonna do this strat and try to find netherite this way, but I guess I'm lucky and I, I just found ancient debris so easily what the heck and i guess we're done now we can place the lodestone down and finally these last two blocks is gonna be a beehive and a beehive wait this one's a bee nest okay but uh, whatever boom and boom there we go now let's try to get every single die i feel like i have most of the dies yeah we already almost have every single die the only one i still need is blue die oh yes okay so we got lapis and there we go. I can now grab some sand. So I can now make all of the different concretes. We now have all 16 different types. So we can now replace the rest of these blocks. There we go. We can now place some water all over this to turn it into concrete. And there we go. This first layer of the beacon is done. Let's now make the rest of the colored items. We got glass. Go. But we also need one more piece of glass, and that is tinted glass. But the way to get that, we gotta go back to an amethyst geode and grab these shards. So we can now place all this glass down. Boom. We still gotta add just concrete powder. Just like this. Oh, finally. That took so long. There we go. Now I'm gonna have to try to look for a bunch of copper. Any- anywhere? No? Alright, perfect. 
We're also gonna have to grab every single different type of ore. We got coal, we got iron, but we're also gonna need all the deep slate versions, which are gonna be much harder. We got gold, ooh, lapis. Okay, there must be some diamonds around here. Oh. Oh, what? Uh, okay. So we have almost every single different ore, but we still need to get both types of emerald. So I think to do this, we're going to have to go to a mountain biome for emerald ore to spawn. Yes, okay, stony peaks. Let's just dig down to the right height and hopefully there will be emeralds, I, I think. Oh! What? Oh, hi guys. Uh, bye guys. <laughs> Alright, so now I just have to strip mine. Oh! No! I- I just mined the emeralds. Oh, shoot. Well, at least I know uh, emeralds do spawn. Oh, okay, finally. We got the emerald ore. We only need the deep slate emerald ore now. And uh, this one is actually almost impossible to find. But, you know, I I, I got it, I, th I think. Oh. Wait, what? We, we found an ancient city. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I'm out of here, but... That, that's pretty lucky. I found an ancient city before I found this emerald ore. Are you, are you serious? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I, I gotta be careful. This is silk touch. Okay. Yes. Give me it. Let's go. Oh, finally. I mined this entire area out. Oh my gosh. I, I should have grabbed a beacon, but... Uh, Whatever. What? Let's go. We have every single ore. That took way longer than expected. Now we can craft the rest of the items, like all of these ore blocks. Boom. And with these copper blocks, we're gonna have to place them down so they oxidize, like this. Uh, hopefully that was a good transition. I I'm not sure though. But now we can place down all these blocks. Oh, and we're gonna have to get some blocks from the Nether. Gotta find a bastion. Ow. Yes, okay. And I gotta grab some of this gilded blackstone. I can also grab some of this gold netherrack and nether quartz. And finally, some ancient debris. Oh. Uh, okay. Th that was easy. Boom. And finally, all the ores. First, we got the deep slate and regular. Boom. Our second layer is done. Now, because the layers slowly get smaller, we're basically halfway done with this build. But that does mean that we're going to start getting into the harder blocks. So, uh, yeah, the, this will be fun. So I'm going to continue on with these colorful type blocks and get all the different colors of terracotta. So I got to go find a Badlands. Yes, finally. Well, we're going to have to grab a bunch of this terracotta. Enough to get every single colored terracotta and their glazed counterpart. So, not that much. I flew all the way out here to grab 54 pieces of terracotta. Now I gotta... I gotta fly back home. Oh, shoot. I just realized it takes 8 terracotta to make each type of colored terracotta. So, um... I'm all out of terracotta already. Well, we we gotta go back to the Badlands. I'm I'm so smart. There we go. I gotta smelt some of it, and now I can place down all of this terracotta. There we go. These glazed ones kind of look stupid, but whatever. We're actually almost done with this build already. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah so far it's not that bad now we're gonna need to go to the end and grab all the different types of blocks from this end city and regular endstone but yeah these these four blocks that's it and mojang you gotta step it up you gotta add more things to this end it's so boring but now we have to grab items from the nether like nether brick we gotta grab some quartz but yeah again that's that that's about it i can make all the different quartz blocks or it's bricks, or it's pillar, and all the nether brick blocks. Now I can place all these in. Boom. Now I gotta grab some clay to make some brick blocks. And I gotta go back to this ocean monument and try to find some sponges. Where, where are they? Nope, not over here. How did I get lost? What? Oh, shoot. I'm about to drown. Oh, I can't mine. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, where... Where's my golden carrots? I got rotten flesh, but... Uh, hi, hi, Guardian. What, what are you doing? 
Oh, get me out of here. Yeah, maybe we should grab some milk. Okay, hopefully I don't almost die this time. Okay, I'm positive that there's a sponge room, right? I'm not going crazy. There yeah, there we go. Okay, so I just got to grab a few of these sponges. Uh, hello. Just got to smell one of them. And now, boom, we finished off this layer. Wow, only two more layers to go. This is going so well. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Let's get rid of this beacon finally, just because it's kind of getting in the way. So first, we're going to have to try to find an ice biome. And I think these are pretty rare, so I think we're going to have to fly for a very long time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why. I, I literally spawned right next to this. I thought these were supposed to be rare, but okay. I just got to grab a bit. Um... Well, I, I only needed one, but that was pretty satisfying. Oh yeah, and we're gonna have to grab some of this snow. Boom. Now I gotta go and try to find one of those biomes with all those big mushrooms. Yes? I gotta go back to the nether again, because I'm trying to look for crying obsidian. I think you can find them on ruined portals. Yes, let me grab some of this. And I also need some bedrock, so... Why are, why are you here? Jeez, I gotta grab some obsidian. <laughs> I'm also gonna need some moss. So, uh, let me, let, me, let me just borrow some for a sec. I'll return it, just, you know, just, just for now. Now I can place all this down. Boom, I gotta craft a bookshelf. Oh, wait. There we go. And again, I have to fly back to that ocean monument and have to grab more blocks. No! I was so close to finish mining that. Gotta grab this and this. So I got a bookshelf, enchantment table, prismarine, prismarine bricks, sea lantern, and dark prismarine. Only 19 more blocks to go. I know I was saying these blocks are hard to get, but they're actually so easy. I gotta grab a bit more clay and I gotta craft a few more things. Ooh, I do have to make an ender chest, so I gotta kill some blazes. 360. Nope. Nope. Third time's the charm. Oh, gosh. What the hell? Yes, let's go. All right, that took way longer than it should have. And there we go. I gotta grab some kelp. Uh, I, <laughs> I think that's enough. And I have to smelt it. So I can now make a kelp block. Got a honey block. And I gotta shear these. Hopefully, they don't get mad at me. Uh, they, they look a bit angry. <laughs> Just gotta do one more. There we go. Boom. We got one layer left. Let's go. And you know, because it's a beacon, I want it to be powered, not just to look really weird. So this top layer will be all of the different ore blocks. But because there's only five blocks that actually can power the beacon, I'm going to have to repeat a few. So we got iron, gold, diamonds, and emerald blocks. Let me just copy that on this side. And as you can see, there's one more block missing. And that is a netherite block. Yeah, let's get some more netherite. Oh, nice. Oh, what? But four down. Only 32 more to go. That's all of it. We even have one extra. Let's go. I can now make my netherite block and boom. If I place my beacon on top, there we go. I have fully transformed this beacon in hardcore Minecraft. This video took so long to make, so please subscribe. Uh, please. I transformed a village into an actual city in hardcore Minecraft. There will be real life buildings like a hotel, a school, and even a McDonald's. So stick around for that. So I live right next to this village and it's uh, pretty boring. There's just not that much around here. Some buildings, oh, and a small farm. But yeah, that's, that, that's about it. So I'm gonna make every single one of these buildings better, starting with this well. Yeah, okay, it's, it's already beautiful, but I think I can do better. Let's first tear this entire thing down. There we go. So now we can begin the build. Instead of just making a better well, I think I'm gonna change it into a fountain. So let's just quickly build the layout of it. Shoot, uh, this house is in the way. Okay, 
now let's finish this there we go so this is the size of the fountain and as you can see it's it's already much bigger than this well oh hello jeez i love this game boom there we go now i just have to add all the water and there we go okay well our first build is done only like 12 more builds to go and this was one of the easier builds out of all these so yeah this is gonna take a while and before we move on to another build let's make a path all the way around this fountain there's gonna be a path connecting all of these buildings together just to make it feel more like a city and not just like a bunch of buildings made together can you can you get out of the way no There we go. We're finally done with this build. Now I'm gonna change the house that I destroyed into a hospital. This and almost every other building in this city is gonna be made out of quartz. I think in total, I'm gonna need about 3,000 blocks of quartz. So yeah, before we build this, I'm gonna have to go mining. I, I think it's doable. <laughs> I don't know, this, this might take a while. Wow. I mean, I think this is actually pretty easy. I've only been mining for about five minutes, and I have almost a full shulker box already. This might not be that bad. <laughs> okay, so I think we have everything. As you can see, I have 16 shulker boxes, all full of nether quartz. But finally, we can go back home and begin to build this hospital. Let me first build this pathway. Now let's place the hospital on top. Uh, it kind of looks terrible right now. Let's add an overhang, hopefully to make it look better. Something like this. Uh, okay, you know what, let's just, let's just finish the build and hopefully it looks good at the end. There we go! That actually looks really good. Let's now finish off these walls. There we go. So we have the entire outside of the hospital done, but, uh, the inside is, is not. So, yeah. Let's make this floor oak. go now we have to add everything that a hospital needs we can add a reception area let's now build a waiting area something like nope like this <laughs> there you go now up here is where the actual hospital beds are gonna be why is why is there a window missing there we go okay <laughs> now all of these rooms are gonna need their hospital beds some lights not there. Like this. And there we go. This hospital is now completely done. We got two buildings done. A lot more to go. Uh, great. Now I want to connect all the buildings together with some black concrete and a strip of yellow just to make a quick road. I'm going to have to repeat this pattern all the way down. So yeah, this, this might take a while. You know what? Let's just do a quick transition in three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> How is that? <laughs> this road really shows that this is a modern city and not a dump of a village. So yeah, I mean, that's good. But let's now move over to this house. I gotta break it down. No, you know what? Let's try something else. Instead of mining this entire building, let me use TNT. Hopefully this works, please. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. So for this building, I want to change it into a bank where the villagers can hold all of their emeralds. Shoot, I don't think this will fit. Yeah, let's go. So just like the hospital, this build is going to be made mostly of quartz. So let me just build the quick outline of it. There we go. I want to kind of make this design with some chiseled quartz blocks and block of quartz all the way around this building. There we go. So yeah, this is kind of what the build's gonna look like. Let's just add a quick entrance. Now let me make a roof. There we go. This is the front done. Oh wait, I gotta add one more thing. I gotta grab some emeralds from this farm. So now I can make the bank logo made out of emerald blocks. It's, it's just a dollar sign. Now I just have to finish this roof on the entire rest of this bank. There we go. Not too bad. All right, well now we can start on this inside. This back area will be where the emeralds are actually stored. This front is actually going to be a bank vault like this. You know, like that bank vault spinny thingy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, all right? Now let's build where the workers will actually work. So where they will talk to the customers. And there we go. Now all we have left is this front area. Let me build the waiting area where the customers will wait in line. Obviously, I don't 
like, what am I talking about? And there we go. I have to add one more thing, and it will be an ATM machine. Gotta place this button, and there we go. This entire place is done. Now I'm just gonna add this roof. Not, not there. Not there again, come on. Boom, the entire bank is done. Uh, I, I don't wanna say this again. Almost, okay. Right now there's no way of actually getting into this bank, but I wanna try to change that. Right here there's a button, so I wanna connect it to over here and you'll be able to slide into the vault and grab all the emeralds. So you click this button and boom, I'm inside the vault, let's go. Oh shoot, there's <laughs> there's no way for me to get out. That's, that's a problem. I guess if I place a button here, please work. Yes, let's go. So finally, this bank is done. And you know, it it looks all right. Not the best I've ever done, but it's something. What? Did I have bad omen? No, I didn't. What? Oh my gosh. Just let me finish this build. No, I gotta keep these villagers alive. This build is for them. What are you doing? Stop. Is that it? I'm so confused. Wh whatever. Now for this build, I want to build a police station. Because what if the villagers try to steal all the emeralds, right? They're going to jail. So we have to make a place where the villagers can learn from their mistakes, you know? I forgot, I could just do this. Let's go. So the police is known to kind of be blue and white. I'm going to try to follow that type of style. There we go. Just got to finish building this. There we... Nope. There we go. So it, you know, it could be better, but I'm proud of it, all right? So now this inside, I wanna make this floor a checkered board. Like this. Now let me work on the prison cells. I want them to look ugly. Not just cause I'm bad at building, but <laughs> also because, you know, it's a prison cell. You don't want it to look happy. There we go. I definitely meant for them to look this bad. Yeah. Now in these cells, I want to make a bunk bed. We also need a place for them to be able to poop. But yeah, there we go. This place is already done. So we're about halfway. No, we're not. We're like a fourth done right now. I, I love this. Let's stop building houses for a bit and try to build something else. So right here, it's a really open area with no buildings. So I think I'm going to fill this area with a tennis court. Wow, so this area is pretty big. On the outside here, I'm gonna place some terracotta. Just as like a pathway to get around the court. There we go. And now we can build the lines that are on the tennis court. Something like this. That transition was fire. Right? And then we gotta just fill in the rest with this lime concrete. Boom, that is a tennis court, all right. I'm gonna add some leaves around it. And then finally, I just wanna add a little bench just so the villagers can watch each other play tennis or something. I don't even know how they're gonna play tennis. They don't have hands, but you know, whatever. But there we go, it is now done. Let me sleep through the night because this next build is gonna be the hardest one. So for this house, I'm gonna make a giant hotel. This build is the reason why I had to get 3,000 blocks of quartz. Well, I mean, let's do it. I first gotta flatten this place out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the hotel is gonna take up this entire area. And it's gonna be like 100 blocks tall. <laughs> this is gonna take so long to make. Oh, uh, why did I do this? Let's just build this quick outline of the hotel. Oh my god, finally. Just this outline took 20 minutes. What the hell? All right, well, I mean, it looks all right. Now we're just gonna have to fill it all in and add all the detail and go insane. This is, this is so fun. Okay, uh, that wasn't that bad. I mean, my finger hurts from placing so many blocks, but yeah. Now all we gotta do is do this entire interior. Oh gosh. So this first room is gonna be like the reception area where you buy your room. Just gotta play some chess, some books, cause why not? And a painting. N nope, <laughs> like that. There we go. Let's move on to this room. So this is just the place where you can have some breakfast. And yeah, I, I don't know, that's about it. Let's just add some seats. Now let me just build a quick place where you can make yourself some drinks, add some fake cups, and some brewing stands to maybe look like, I don't know, tap water? 
Er oh, whatever. But there we go. This first floor is done. Now in this little area, we're gonna build a staircase all the way up. Oh, there we go. That wasn't that bad. All right, I just gotta build this wall all the way up. Ugh, it's just a lot of building. I don't like this. Boom. And now all the rest of the rooms are the exact same. I'm gonna build some walls. Now I can build a couch, a TV, and some bushes. Now this is the bedroom area. Just some random decorations. Some chests. Something like this. And we got one room left. This will be the bathroom. But I have a sink, some towels, and finally a bath. There we go. Oh my gosh. One room is done. Only five more rooms to go. I... I want to die. I guess in three, two, one, boom. Oh my gosh, we're done. The only thing that is different about each floor is the color. But yeah, we are done. Oh no, never mind. We do have one more thing to add to this hotel, and that is an outside. Uh, I just want to be done with this. Let me just build a pathway to the entrance. Now I just got to make a quick parking area because, you know, Villagers can drive, right? And finally, let's add a few areas with some trees in it. And there we go. Never mind. We are done. This took probably double everything combined. I didn't like this. <laughs> Just because this took so long, I want a little break. Right in this spot of area where there's no buildings, I just want to build a park. So right over here, I'm thinking of making just a small sand pit. I guess I can add a sand castle. <laughs> that, that looks like a sand castle, right? I want to add some monkey bars. Uh, it, it looks all right. Kind of looks a bit thick, but yeah, whatever. Right over here, I'm going to add a pair of swings. Add some chains and then the actual seat. There we go. You got to kind of use your imagination, but it looks, it looks all right. And then finally, just over here, I'm just going to add some chairs for the parents to watch their kids. But there we go. The park is done. I mean, it, it, it kind of looks like a park. Just don't, don't judge me. All right, let's move over to this building. Right over here, I want to make a school. You know, there has to be a place where little Timmy can learn how to read and write. Yeah, let's go. So the school's going to be really big. I'm going to have to flatten this entire area out. There we go. That took up a lot. We can now start building the actual school. Let's first make an outline of the actual build. There we go. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. Not as big as that hotel, but yeah, still gonna take a while. Oh, my hand hurts already. Okay, we're almost done with this. We just got the roof left. There we go. Everything's done except for the school bell. I want it to be made out of pure gold. So let me go back to my gold farm. Oh yeah, well the gold farm works. Now I can make all the gold I want. Boom. All right, so now we can finish off this bell. Yeah, okay, that kind of looks like a bell. Now the exterior is done. So we can now work on the inside. So the school is gonna be separated into four different segments. These back rooms are gonna be where they actually teach. And then the room back here will be the cafeteria. And then finally this area will be a library. I- Oh! Okay. I- I hate creepers. Well, now we can work on the rooms. I want to add a blackboard, just so the teachers can, you know, teach the actual kids. We got the kids' chairs, so they can sit and listen to the teacher, or- or not. I guess they're not going to, because it's school. But there we go. This is the first room. Let's just copy it on this side. Boom! How was that transition? Now in these hallways, I want to make them look a bit more inviting. Maybe add some paintings like this. There we go. Let's just do some quick transitions for these last two rooms. So this is the cafeteria. Boom. And the library. Oh, that took so long. Well, it's finally done. That... I, I hated that. Now I do want to say we're done, but again, we still have to do this outside area. Just like some leaves around the school. And a playground in this back area. For the little kids to play in. So this side of the playgrounds, I'm just gonna make a basketball court. I wanna build a basketball hoop with some cobwebs and signs all the way around. Just to kind of look like the net. And then we got a basketball. Just some orange concrete. Whatever. It, it works. And then finally on this side, I'm gonna create a soccer court. Or football if you live in... 
anywhere else. <laughs> so I gotta make the net. Oh yeah, and then we have to place the soccer ball. There we go. So now that the school is done, where's little Timmy gonna go once school is finished? That's right, back to his house. So let's change this into a modern house. There we go. This is gonna be a pretty small build. Hopefully it doesn't take that long to make. Something like this. Let's just add some stairs. Maybe add some glass. But there we go. The outside of this house is done. You just gotta do this inside. But you're, you're in my way. And then to get to the second floor, let's build some stairs all the way up here. Now I just gotta add all this interior. Gotta change this floor. Ah. Oh. How do you break this? Oh. There we go. And then up here is just the bedroom. So... There we go. Alright, now Timmy can go in and have some fun in there. Oh shoot, we still gotta make the road. Bam! This area is now done. We only have to transform three buildings and one farm. Well yeah, let's now transform this farm. Basically, instead of this little area that you can plant some crops, I'm gonna make a supermarket. As you can see, it's really small. So let's just quickly finish this outside. There we go. Right here, there's this big section that's just missing. Get out of here. And that is because I'm gonna make a little area that displays some food. Got some potatoes, some carrots. I'm also gonna add some smooth stone all the way around here. I'm actually gonna wrap this path all the way around to this side. Because I want to add a food stand, I guess. I can add an overhang. And finally add some fruit down here. There's only melons and pumpkins, so I guess I'll just place some mushrooms. It kind of looks like, I don't know, apples or something. But yeah, this front is finally done. Oh, hi. No. No. God dang it. I just finished building it. Oh, um, okay. So for this interior, I want to make a cashier stand right over here. There we go. So on this side, I'm gonna sell some dyes. And then over here, I'm gonna sell some dessert items. So like a pumpkin pie, cookie, golden apple, and cake. Just gotta add some more random things around the place. And there we go. This first room is done. Oh, wait. No, never mind. So on this side, I'm gonna hold all of the frozen meats. So let's kind of make some fridges. Something like this. Maybe? And then place all the raw meats on here. I'm gonna sell some armor. And then finally here, I'm gonna sell some CDs. There we go. And then finally, in this area, I'm gonna place some bookshelves. Kinda to mimic a bunch of items on all these shelves. You know, you gotta use your imagination a bit. But whatever. It works, alright? It looks great. Very... It looks alright. But yeah, the supermarket is done. We're almost there. Now this next building will allow the villagers to stay awake throughout the day. And yes, I am talking about a coffee shop. There we go. There isn't that much room in this area, so it's gonna be pretty small. There we go. And just to show that this is actually a coffee shop, let me make a small coffee mug. Just like this. That, that looks good. Kinda. Now let me just add a place where the villagers can sit down and drink some coffee. Place some mugs around the place. I mean, yes, they're flower pots, but again, <laughs> use your imagination. Now let's start on the insides. Now in the back, I want to put a coffee maker, a sink right in the corner. I want to place a bunch of coffee beans, uh, cocoa beans, but, you know, same thing. They look the exact same. And then just at the front right here, I want to add a little bakery section. Some fun foods, a place to order, and there we go. I'm actually very proud of this one. We only got two more builds left. Come on, let's first finish off this road. So for this build, it's going to be a church, but not just any church. It's going to hold the religion of villagerism. Or, that's a dumb name. Wait. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking way too long. Three, two, one. Bah. Now this mountain is way too tall. We're gonna have to completely flatten this out. Hopefully this will also help make this look a little better. Because in the beginning, it was kind of looking pretty bad. There we go. So this church isn't gonna be that big. It's just gonna be very detailed. But it might take a bit longer to make. For this front here, let me add like an arch, something like this. Okay. And then right on the front here, I want to add a cross. I guess just to show that it is a church. But yeah, let me just finish off this entire build. 
Oh my gosh, come on. All we have left is this last roof. I hate this so much. There we go. This outside is finally done. And you know what? It looks all right. Not my best work, but it's... It's something. Now in this back area, I want to raise it up a bit and build a stand where the villagers can go up and do their little thing. Right here is where the villagers are actually going to do their readings. And then right here, I want to place a piano. <laughs> All right, it's the best I can do. I'm going to add the seats now. Right here. I guess I can add a flooring. There we go. The last thing I can do is add a little wall all the way around the church. Just so the villagers don't have to worry about, I don't know, getting killed by zombies while praying to the Minecraft gods. Oh! Okay. Yeah, j just like that. I... Oh. Nope. <laughs> Not there. There we go. We only have one more build to do right over here. And this one is gonna be a McDonald's. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but <laughs> they need a fast food restaurant and McDonald's was the first one to come to mind. So yeah, there we go. Oh shoot, no, uh, please don't die. Ah. Uh. Yeah, well, that that's unfortunate. Were those the only villagers in this village? I think the rest of them died. Shoot, no. Eh, we'll, we'll figure out that issue later. For now, let's just finish this McDonald's. Let's first build the outline. There we go. So yeah, it's just gonna be this super small square. So hopefully it doesn't take that long to make. Just gotta build up all these walls. Something like this. Okay, this looks decent. Now we just have to build the roof. Boom. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot the most important thing. And that is the actual McDonald's logo. There we go. Much better. But yeah, this is the outside. Now let's quickly finish this inside. There we go. And now I can add a counter for where you actually buy your food. You can add some of these cashier thing thingies. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I can add the ovens. So yeah, this is where you make all your food. And now let me add all the places where the people can actually eat. Add one more chair over here, and there we go. This inside is now done. Just gonna make a quick pathway, and then I'm gonna destroy a bit of this pathway because I want to make a drive through Finally, for the last thing, I'm gonna add a display screen for the people driving through to see all the items. I got a Big Mac, chicken nuggets, egg McMuffin, and finally a Happy Meal. There we go. This McDonald's and every single other building is finally done. Oh, no, please. I, I just finished. Don't. Don't ruin it. The village is fully transformed. Now we are done, but there is one more thing that I want to do. As you can see, there are, uh, there are no villagers in this village. Maybe because I killed them all, but whatever. I want to get a few over there and repopulate the place. Let me just grab a few villagers from this farm and bring them all the way over to the village. One more push. There we go. Now that you guys are over here, uh, yeah, I need you guys to make some babies. All right, um, <laughs> you guys are gonna have a lot of work to do. Have some fun, okay. I'll come back in a bit and there better be hundreds of babies. All right, I'll, I'll see you then. All right, how did it go? Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> no way. Okay, yeah, it worked. All right, guys, go check out your new village. Let's go. Finally, I finished transforming the village. This video took so long to make, so please subscribe. Uh, please. I recreated Clash Royale in Hardcore Minecraft. I built the Royal Arena and even included some enemies like the Giant, Balloon, and Baby Dragon. So the build's gonna be massive. I'm gonna place it right here, but that means I'm gonna have to flatten this entire area. This will be fun. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should have found a flatter place to build this, but whatever. There we go. This might take a while. Oh, I still gotta get rid of all of this stone. Alright, I, I love this. We gotta grab some iron. Boom. Now, even though I can insta-mine it, this still is gonna take so long. Oh my gosh. Well, in three, two, one. Boom. Oh, hi. Oh gosh. Oh, there's so many mobs. <laughs> it's all flat. Oh, that looks so nice. I now have to get all the materials for the build. This includes 16,000 blocks of smooth stone. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wait here for a bit. Uh, yeah.
Okay, yeah, th this might take a while. While we're waiting for this, let's get the other materials. Let me grab some wood. I gotta grab some gravel and sand. To make a total of about 12,000 concrete, I gotta get some green dye. Some red dye, yellow dye, and finally blue dye. Alright, let's go. We have all the blocks that we need. We can finally start on the build. Only took like five hours. <laughs> Let me first build the outline of the arena. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's just great. Yes, it fits. Okay, I didn't measure wrong, but oh my gosh, it is so big. So now you can see why I had to dig this entire area out. But this outline is for the building surrounding the actual arena. So let's do that now. So it's going to be in the middle right here and alternates a shade of green every few blocks, just like this. I just got to do this for the entire area. So I left an open area because I want to add a pathway. Look, okay. This open area is going to be the pathway to all the towers. Why are there so many zombies? Oh, my hand is so sore right now. Oh my gosh. All right, now we just have to copy this side over here. And boom. How was that? But anyways, yeah, this arena is basically done. Yeah, we still got to build the towers and all the buildings around and the water and... Just a lot more, but whatever. We're, we're basically done. Right? Now I want to start moving outwards. All the way around this arena. I want to add some stone bricks. There we go. Now I'm going to add the river. It's just going to go all the way through this center. I also have to add water to this backside. So I got to destroy all of this. Um. This is going to take a while. Oh, much better. I just have to remove all of this and add some water. Oh, finally. Well, we're like not even a quarter done. <laughs> this is the easy part. The buildings on the outside are going to take so much longer to make. Now, all the way around this arena, I got to add a wall. There we go. Oh, it feels like my hand's about to fall off. Just, just great. Let's now move on to the buildings on the side, which are harder to make. This is because when you're playing the actual game, these buildings are cut off on the sides, so you can't really tell what they are. I'm gonna start with this building in the middle. It kind of looks like a barrel pouring water into the river, I, I think. But let's first build the outline of it. There, there we go. Uh, that's oval-ish. That's good enough. And now we just have to extend all these backwards, like... Like this. There we go. Hey, you know what? Uh, that... Uh... <laughs> it's good enough. Once I add all the buildings around it, it'll kind of hopefully look better. Hopefully. Now we're gonna have to make it look like water is coming out of this bucket. I gotta place a bunch of water and then place some blocks to make it look like the water is flowing out of the bucket. Something like this. Alright. That is a beauty. One building down. Like, tw 20 more to go. Oh, great. Next, I want to work on the other side. I can't really tell what the building is, but it kind of looks like a wall with a crown on it. So let's just build this up. Oh, great. I hate phantoms. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh, what the? Yeah, let, let me just go to bed. All right, anyways, let's just finish this. There we go. Now on top of this, I'm gonna add another building with a interesting shape on it. This is really challenging my building skills. <laughs> all right, um, I was thinking it was looking good until I looked from the bottom, but once we add all the other buildings, it will kind of cover up this blandness on the side of the walls because there's, there's literally nothing on there. But all right, now we have a lot of building to do next. On all four of these sides, we have to add some seats. It's kind of hard to tell from the actual game, but it does make sense, you know, so they can watch the actual battle going on. That is one side done. Uh, hi. Only three more to go. This side is the exact same as this one. So if I just look over here. Nice. Um, 
Okay, this bucket and this building are looking much better now that they're kind of being covered by these seats. You know, if a build's really bad, just cover it up and hope no one notices. <laughs> All right, now we have these two sides to do. And these are actually going to be much bigger than the other sides. So, yeah, this is going to take even longer. Finally. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. There's still this hole here. So, we finally finished these stands. I, I hated this. But it covers up my terrible building skills, so that's a plus. Now, all we have left are these back buildings, which are actually the hardest ones to make. That's because they're almost fully cut off from the screen, so I really have no idea what they are. This means that I'm going to have to use my imagination, which, you know... I, I don't have. I think I have an idea of what the buildings look like. So let me just build an outline of all the buildings. Hey, there we go. I think this is pretty close. All right, let me put my headphones in and build all of these buildings up. This will be fun. I just won't be able to feel my hand afterwards. This is just great. Oh my gosh, I've done this whole side. This took my whole morning. I was planning on going outside, like going on a run, you know, because I, I do that. But instead, I spent my day building a wall. And you know what's even better? I have to do it on this side too. But well, lucky for you guys, this is a YouTube video. So with some editing magic, uh, boom. There we go. I, I want to die. I mean, okay, it, I'm very proud of it. It looks really nice, but it just took so long. Uh. Alright, I'm feeling good. Let's finish this. Next, we have to add this staircase all the way up. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my gosh. There we go. So that's one of the staircases. Uh, we, we, we got three more, so let's do it. There we go. Now it does look really good, but it's a bit bland. And in the actual arena, there are overhangs over all of the stands. So yeah, uh, we, we gotta do that now. All right, now let's do this. Let's go. Everything is done. Well, the, the outside is done. I still haven't built the towers and all, all the enemies, but whatever we can finally start on the actual battlefield first i want to add the towers where the king and uh ar archer people go i I don't, I don't know what they're called there we go it's really hard to tell in the actual game but i think there's a ladder in the back uh that, yeah, that's the best I can do. But yeah, I think I did pretty well. Now I can repeat it on this side. And then for this king tower, it's gonna be almost the exact same as these two, just th thicker. And then right in the middle here, I'm gonna place a cannon. Oh gosh, it looks um, not family friendly, but um, yeah, sure, it, it looks like a cannon. Uh, not really. So over here on these towers, I want to make it look like the tower already got broken. And it's just a bunch of stone in a pile right here. Alright, nice. I also want to do the same over here. And boom. There we go. Now these two are destroyed, but I want to keep one still up. You know, just so it doesn't look like blue got completely destroyed by red. That would be pretty embarrassing. Well, we are done. Like, this is what the arena would look like if no match was going on. Ah, uh, th these should be built all the way up, but whatever. But I don't want to stop here. I now want to build a few enemies looking like they're fighting each other. Just so it doesn't look so dead in here. The first enemy I want to add is a giant. Uh... Oh, okay. I guess I'll try my best. <laughs> what? Why are there so many creepers? I just gotta add his eyes and his arms like this and there we go i mean okay compare this to the actual giant uh it's it's not that bad right and now this next one is gonna be a baby dragon who's gonna be all the way up in the air shooting a fireball into that tower just gotta add his feet 
And there we go. Here is my beautiful baby dragon. That's actually so good uh, for my building skills. All right. Well, now I want to add a fireball to make it look like he's about to hit the tower. All right. So far, this baby dragon and fireball are my favorite out of this entire build, which isn't really saying much because everything else kind of sucks, but I really like this. Now I want to build some archers shooting arrows at the baby dragon. And there we go. Uh... <laughs> you know, I it, it's hard to build detailed buildings this small. You know what? It's it's not the worst. Uh, maybe it is. <laughs> well, maybe I'll fix it now. I can add their bow and some arrows. And I want to add some arrows up here to make it look like they shot some towards the baby dragon. Okay. Um. Yeah, we, we just don't talk about this one. All right, let's build two more. Now, right above this exploded king tower, I want to make it look like a balloon just shot it down with its bomb. And just like this fireball, I want to do that same type of style here with the bomb. So the bomb will go like right here, and then all around it will go the flames. And there we go. It's done. Well, okay, I'll, I'll do one more thing. A balloon has a skeleton in it, and uh... There's, there's no skeleton, so... Yeah, let, let's get a skeleton up there. Oh, hello. Just follow me up here. Come on. No. Oh, this is so annoying. Run up the stairs. What are you doing? All right, you know what? I have a better idea. I can use a minecart. Nope. Uh, a minecart. Can you get in it? There we go. Thank you. Now I can build a railway all the way up to the balloon. Please work. Oh, not enough rails. It's becoming day. Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Please work. All right, take two. Come on, this is the one. Yes. I just have to break you out. Okay. Let's go. There you go. All right, that was much harder than I thought, but he's up there. Look at me, I'm a porcupine. <laughs> oh! We only have one more to do. It's gonna be a Tesla, and it's pretty easy to make. There we go. It looks pretty good, but I wanna make it look like it's attacking the giant. Oh my gosh, we're done. Let's go. I have fully recreated the Royal Arena from Clash Royale into Minecraft. This took so long to make, so please subscribe. All right, bye. Minecraft 1.20 came out just a few days ago and more advancements were added. That means that I don't have all the achievements anymore. So today I am going to complete every advancement in 1.20. There are 10 new achievements that I'm gonna have to do, so let's get started. The first achievement will be the only one that is really easy to do. I'm gonna have to craft a chiseled bookshelf using the new bamboo blocks like this and if i place a comparator behind it with some redstone boom uh nice <laughs> now i want to work on the archaeology achievements to do this i'm gonna need to craft a brush just like this oh my gosh i, I can clean blocks <laughs> it doesn't just do that though because it can also be used on certain blocks to find pottery i've explored this world a lot so i'm gonna have to travel pretty far to load new chunks for the new update Ow. Okay, we're 10,000 blocks out. Hopefully that's far enough. I'm now gonna search for a new structure called the Trail Ruins. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Wait, is that it? Oh, let's go. It is. This Trail Ruins spawns with most of it underground, which means I'm gonna have to dig it all up. Yes, finally. I found some of this suspicious gravel. I can use my brush on it like this, and hopefully I get some pottery. No. Uh, okay, we found another okay, please give it to me. No Uh, this might take a while. Yes. No. Wait, is that it? No way. Oh Yo, I'm so lucky. So to make a pot, I'm gonna have to get three more of these. That's another one Let's go. Okay Maybe it isn't as rare as I thought it was because it only took me ten tries to get these two. No way We got another one What is that? Oh, nice. We got one of the smithing templates. This is actually going to help with one of the advancements. Okay, I think that was the last suspicious gravel in this trail ruin. So let's leave this place and try a different structure. There's five different structures that have this suspicious sand and gravel, but only one of them can drop a certain item when using the brush. And that is the warm ocean ruins. Yes, I finally found one. And down here, there should be some suspicious sand. Ooh, I think that's it. Now I can use the brush on it and hopefully get what I want. Nope, please. Another emerald, are you serious? Come on. An axe? Seriously? <laughs> nice, a piece of coal. I love this. I guess I used all my luck in the trail of ruins. <laughs> Let's keep looking. 
Oh, what? <laughs> I just finished the all biomes achievement. I was just trying to find another ruin. While I'm here, I guess I can grab all the blocks from this biome. What's this called? Cherry logs? Oh, that's such a good color. I might want to grab a bit more. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Let's go finish the archaeology achievement. No way! Let's go! Oh, what? We got a sniffer egg. This is what hatches the sniffer mob that was voted from the mob vote. I mean, I'll take it, but I still need to get this last pottery shirt. Thank you for the piece of coal. This is so great. No, please? Yes, finally! Oh, we got the four shirts. I hated that so much. I mean, to be honest, it was pretty relaxing. But that doesn't matter, because I can now put these four shirts together like this and get... Yes, let's go. We're five advancements down, only five more to go. I now want to work on getting the smithing with style achievement, which requires me to find eight of the smithing templates, like the one I got in the Trail of Ruins. But before I do that, let me place down my sniffer egg because it will take a long time for it to hatch. I guess while I'm here, I can make a small house for my sniffer made out of cherry blocks, because uh, why not? Yo, the doors look sick. All right, let's now work on the smithing achievements. So all the templates are found in different structures, like the end city, woodland mansion, nether fortress, and so many others. I think the nether ones will be the easiest. So let's start there. Again, I gotta fly pretty far away to load new chunks, but oh, what? I already found another fortress. That was easy. I just gotta search in all of these chests for the template. No way. I already found it. What? Why? That was so easy. I already got one from the trail ruins, so two down. Six more to go. Now I gotta look for a template in a bastion. Oh, there's so many. Please have a template. What? I- what is- what is my luck? Is- it, are these just not rare to find? I'm cheating or, or something. What? Well, okay. That's all the templates in the nether. Now we gotta go to the end and search for an end city. Okay, finally. Found a new end city. Hopefully the template's in here, so I don't have to explore anymore. Nope. Of course not. My luck isn't that good. <laughs> Chess? Nope. Uh, okay. Let's keep searching. Please, game. Come on. No. Eh. I mean, I'll take the diamonds, but... No smithing template. And, uh... No. All my luck was used in the nether. Yes, we found a big one. Okay, it must be in here. Please. Give me it. Nope. I hate my life. It's fine. We have so many chances to get the template. Okay, let's go. I was about to say, the game was trying to punish me for just being so lucky in the nether. <laughs> well, I'm done with this place. Get me out of here. We're halfway done. Let's go. Now there are two smithing templates in the ancient city. So let's go find a new one. Ooh, this mountain looks promising. Oh, what? This is sick. Is it an ancient city though? Please? Yes, okay, we found it. But now we gotta find the templates, which I think is gonna be the harder part. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. Oh, shoot. I'm so scared. Please just give me what I need and I'll leave. A god? A, a, okay. Two? Oh, what? I'm getting everything except what I need. What? <laughs> oh, no. Another one? What? No, it's a warden. Oh, God. Please. Just give me the templates. Warden, please. Be nice to me. Oh, no. I'll take other side. Oh, no. There's a warden right there. Another warden. <laughs> Come on. Please. <gasps> yes. Okay. Let's go. Just one more. Please. <laughs> I just saw two wardens. <sighs> okay. What? Please just give me the other one. <laughs> no. Come on. Uh, hi. Hi. What's up? Come on. <gasps> yes. Yes. We got it. Get me out of here. <gasps> oh, no. Oh my god. I can't see. What is going on? Oh! Get me out of- Oh, diamonds. <laughs> okay, well, I almost died like 20 times, but we got the two templates. We only have two more templates to go. Let's go. <laughs> the first one will be in an ocean monument where I have to kill the Elder Guardian. But I don't want to have that near-death experience like I had at the ancient city. So let's just get prepared for it. All right, I got my water breathing and strength potions. Wait. Ooh, why are they yellow? Strength potions were purple before, right? Yeah, why'd they make it yellow? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's do this. Alright, where is he? Oh, okay. You're dead. I actually might die. Oh, shoot. Let's go. 
Did I get it? Uh, I did not. Let's try to find another one. Hello. Okay. He dropped it. Let's go! Okay, I got it. It's only one in five Elder Guardians drop it, so... My luck's coming back. Yes. <laughs> All right, we only have one more to go. And this one is in a woodland mansion. Just gotta get some emeralds. And now I just gotta buy a map from this guy. Thank you. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully it isn't too far away. Oh, finally! It did take a long time. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully the template's in here. I don't even know where chests even spawn. Maybe up here? Yes. Ah, uh, no template. Yes. Oh, great. A golden apple. That's <laughs> just what I need. Oh? There's not even anything in it. No. Just give it to me. Yes! Let's go! Oh, I was so scared that a template wouldn't spawn in here. And I would have to find another woodland mansion. That would have been so bad. Oh, we're back home. Why did that take so long? <laughs> we now have every template for the achievement. But instead of just adding them to random pieces of armor, I want to get every different armor with every different ore. I already have most of them, but I still need to get some chainmail and netherite armor. Just got to trade with this villager for some chainmail. And then I got to go mining for some ancient debris. Let's go! Now I have everything for the advancement. So when I combine them in the smithing table... Boom! Let's go! Not only did I finish the achievement, but I also now have better looking armor. Uh... It kinda. <laughs> Alright, well, we only have three more advancements to go, and they're all pretty easy to do. The sniffer already fully hatched. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> but now that he's fully grown up, he can sniff underground for some seeds. I just gotta wait for him to do it. Please do it now. Oh, I think he's doing it. Let's go! <laughs> I got it. So with this, I can plan it down for another achievement. The second achievement actually requires me to give this torch flower seed to a baby sniffer. So I'm gonna have to find another sniffer egg in order to breed them. This will either take one second or ten hours. Hopefully the first one. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that it? No way! Oh! What? That, w that was my second ruin. Nice. I think that took less time than the first egg. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it here. And while I wait for this hatch, let me work on breeding two camels together. I think I remember seeing a desert village right over here. Yes, okay. Yo, this is sick. So we got one camel. I just need to find another one somehow. They only spawn specifically in desert villages, so I guess I just have to find another one. He walks pretty quickly and makes these giant long jumps, so maybe this won't take as long to find a desert village as I thought. Oh, I see one. Please have a camel. Yes, hello. So if I grab some cactus, I can feed it to both of them and... Yes, we got a baby camel. Let's go. Oh, he's so cute. Everything is so cute in this update. <laughs> oh, the sniffer already hatched. So that means that I can feed it a seed for an advancement. Let's go. Now I just got to wait for it to fully grow up. Please. Oh my God. Come on. Yes. Oh, finally. Okay, let me feed these guys. And... Let's go! I have completed every 1.20 advancement in Hardcore Minecraft. This means that once again, I have completed every achievement in the game. I love building LEGO sets, especially Minecraft ones. But the only problem is they're extremely expensive. This set is over 250 bucks. I can't afford that. I'm broke. So the second best option is to build all of them in Minecraft. There are over 70 Minecraft sets, so we better get going. Let's first build the melon farm set. Boom, first one done. Now, of course, not all of the sets will be this easy. Some are ginormous. So it's going to start getting much harder. Oh, there we go. The bee farm is done. Now, all of the Lego sets have mobs in them. This one obviously has a bee. So let's get one. Hey, hello. Come with me. You're going to be my prisoner. And there we go. All of the sets will be sorted into different categories. Right now, I'm working on the farm sets. So let's continue with this one. Come on, get in. Thank you. Just so the mobs don't despawn, I gotta get them a name tag. There we go. Now I gotta work on the chicken coop and the wolf farm. Why did I do this? <laughs> I literally only needed like 20 pieces of red wool. But at least now I have all the wool to finish this. There we go. We're already done with five sets. Yeah, only like 78 more to go. Yay. Next, this Lego Village set was actually made before they were updated to look nice. So, yeah. This is what the build looks like. It's not my fault. Don't don't judge me for making it look bad. This next building will be the first night set.
I'm not sure how someone can make this in their first night, but it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Let's finish off with the farm cottage set. Oh shoot, this entire house is flammable. No more fire? Okay. I didn't think this lava could do that. That's annoying. There we go. All of the farm sets are now done. This took much longer than I thought. <laughs> but now I want to move on to the nether sets. This next one will help transition into the nether. Like this. And now I gotta grab all the blocks from the warped and crimson forest, the fortress, and bastion to make all of the nether sets. There we go. We can now begin to build. There are three different Lego sets that all include the fortress. So let's just make them all at once. I just have to get a zombie piglin for the set, which is pretty easy. That, that hurt. And now I have to finish making the rest of the fortress sets. And for this one, I'm gonna have to get a blaze somehow. Luckily, this fortress is really close. So I just have to get him all the way up here. Oh my god. Oh, I hated that. But it's done. Oh, I forgot. It's still shooting at me. I guess I'll just... There we go. A lot of these sets are really random, so I just sorted them into the nether sets because that's where they best fit. Like the Skull Arena set. Let's go. It still looks a bit empty because the lava is missing. So let's do that now. I'm gonna have to get so much. <laughs> it's one choker box. Two. Three. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's enough. Now we just have to fill all of this in with lava. Oh. So much better. It's looking really good, but we still have so much more to go. We next have to make the warped forest set. Boom. And now the fun part. <laughs> we gotta get a hoglin into the overworld. Uh, s somehow. Yes. Just get in this minecart, please. No. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Only three more builds to go. We got the bastion set. Oh shoot! No! Uh, I didn't think of that. I guess the fire near it can light it. The second best option is to do this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that will do. There are two nether sets that are extremely small. So let me just do them now. That's the nether fight done. And the nether duel. This one actually has a wither in it. So come on. Just follow me. And there we go. Okay. And finally, the last set for the nether category will be this ruins portal set. Oh, finally. All of the nether sets are done. And that means that 25% of the build is finished. We still got a lot to go. Uh, great. And now I want to work on all the desert sets. This category is one of the easier ones because there are only seven sets in it and they're all pretty easy to make. No. Let's first start with the Illager raid set. Pretty simple to make, but I do have to get a Ravenger, which might be a bit more challenging. Luckily, there's a pillager outpost right over here. Just die for me. Thank you. Come on, guys. Everyone hide. Oh, no. There we go. First round down. I just have to get to the stage where a Ravenger spawns. Oh. Yes, there's a Ravenger. Okay. I just have to kill you. There we go. Now, follow me. And get in the minecart. Yes! Oh! Oh! We, we did it. Uh, just great. <laughs> now, this next build will be a trading post. Just like this. Come on, just follow me. There we go. Next, this creeper mindset will be the biggest of all the desert sets. So let's start building. Okay, before I show you the set, I want you guys to understand that it's really hard to build something on a small scale. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> three done. Four more to go. There we go. The desert outpost is done. Three more to go. Two more. And one more left. Oh, not again! No! Yeah, I'm gonna have to change these fences to nether brick. Just so they can't catch on fire. Oh, finally. All of the desert sets are now done. Like I said, pretty easy. It, kind of. Now this pirate ship set is gonna help transition into the ocean sets. The first one that I'll make will be an ocean monument. So, we're gonna have to get a bunch of prismarine. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This is gonna be annoying. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I think we have enough. Now let's just build the miniature version right here. Nice. It looks pretty cool. Just gotta get this guardian all the way back. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Yes, okay. Oh, that was so annoying. But we're finally done with this set. Now the next two sets will need some coral blocks. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Coral dies without water, so we're gonna have to build both of these sets below every other build and underwater. Like this. 
That's the Coral Reef set. And finally, the Guardian Battle set. Oh, that took forever. We only have 50 sets left. This is what the world looked like before, and this is what it looks like after. I like it. Now onto the snow biomes. Two of the sets are almost identical. The first one is an igloo, like this. And then the second one is also an igloo. Uh, I don't know what Lego was thinking. The only real difference is that this set has a polar bear. Just get in here. Thank you. And this one has a snow golem. Nice. For the next sets, I just gotta grab some ice. Oh yeah! And now I can build the two ice bike sets. The ice bikes and the frozen peaks. Boom. Just gotta grab a stray and put him inside of here. Oh, finally. I hate you so much. Now only one more set to go. There we go. All of the snow sets are done. Over in this area, I'm gonna make a lot of the overworld sets. I guess I can start with a small build. The creeper ambush set. Obviously, I gotta get a creeper for this one. Just great. Yes! Oh, finally! In this area, I can fit some really random sets. We got the skeleton attack set and the sword outpost set. I mean, I guess it looks cool. I just feel like Lego ran out of ideas. <laughs> but the next is actually in Minecraft. I'm gonna make the abandoned village set. With the scarecrow. Village house. Oh! Okay. Farm. And this. Am I seriously gonna waste 24 diamonds for this? Eh, whatever. The set is done. I now gotta make the pillager outpost set. Come on, please just follow me. All right, stop shooting at me. Oh, finally, we're done. Only one more set in this category. Just in this hole, let's fit something small. Just gotta take you. There we go. Everything is looking good. We are over 50% done. And I already feel like dying. <laughs> no, but I'm feeling motivated. Let's keep going. Right over here, there's a bunch of water. So I can use it to transition into the next set. Which will be the jungle category. This first one will be the jungle treehouse set. Oh my gosh, not again. No. Oh. Okay, I gotta learn from my mistakes not to put lava near wood. <laughs> Let's just replace it with some orange glass. Let's finish this. There we go. Next, I'm gonna make the panda nursery set. I'm gonna add string to the top of these bamboos so they don't grow too much. I'm so smart. <laughs> and for both of these sets, I'm gonna have to get a mob from the jungle. For the first one, I gotta get an ocelot and then a panda. Come on, walk faster. This is gonna take a while. Oh, finally. It was like trying to move a boulder. Jeez, you're so fat. <laughs> well, there we go. Now the last set will be the jungle temple. Nice. It looks just like the original. I even added redstone to the build. Uh, kinda. <laughs> so the next few sets will be based on the mushroom island and the swamp biome. Let's first travel to the mushroom island and grab all of the blocks here. While I'm here, let's also grab a mushroom to come back with me. Oh my god, I'm finally back home. Let's now start building. All right, the mushroom island set done. Just got to put the mushroom in here. There we go. And now I got to build the mushroom house. Boom. All the mushroom sets are done. Now we got to do the swamp sets. This first one will be the witch hut. Come on, get in here. There we go. And now the next set will be the swamp adventure. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get a frog. Oh. Hopefully this is the last hard mob that I'm gonna have to get. <laughs> All right, let's go. This sucks so much, but we are done. I now want to work on the house category. The first few sets are all gonna be houses in the shapes of mobs. I don't know why. <laughs> let's just really quickly bust a few out. We got the fox lodge, the bee cottage, the panda haven, and the pig house. Boom, looking pretty good. This next one is, I think, the second largest Minecraft set, so it might take a while for me to build. Oh shoot, I'm out of quartz. Let's just go mining for a bit. All right, hopefully that's enough for the rest of the builds. Now let's finish building this set. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> that took a while. Since this took so long to make, I wonder how long the biggest set will take to make. Jeez. We only got one more animal house set to do, and that is the rabbit ranch set. 
I just want to clarify that it is really hard to build faces with such little space. <laughs> it was either this or this, which I think looks worse. <laughs> I want to move on to the regular houses. The first one being this modern treehouse set, and the second one being a red barn. Yeah. It's not really a house, but it is four walls with a roof, so... It, don't judge me. For the barn set, I'm actually gonna have to get a goat from this mountain. Come on, just follow me. And there we go. This next set is actually a house, and it will be the waterfall base. I think I learned my lesson not to put lava next to wood. <laughs> what I'll do instead is to put the lava one block lower, and then put orange glass over it. Hopefully nothing catches on fire. That would be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Boom, looking good. We still have a lot more sets to go, and it is taking so lo- Seriously? It's just taking forever, so I just want to go a bit quicker. Let's first make the fortress set. Please love me. Bro, how hard is it to tame a horse? Finally. Just go in here. There we go. Next is the iron golem set. Oh, shoot. I accidentally just spawned it. Let me quickly just- there we go. Uh, nothing happens. Now I gotta build the horse stable set. And finally, the bakery. Boom! Every single overworld set is now done. I've lost count of how many sets we've done, but I know that we're extremely close. I'm now gonna start on the cave category. First, I'm gonna make the mine set. It has some lava in the set, which will make it easy to transition from the nether right over here. Oh gosh. This mindset has a part which includes some TNT. I'm gonna place it down and hopefully I remember never to flick this lever. <laughs> Oh, that took a while. That's not even the biggest set in this category. <laughs> Let's keep going. Got the cave set, first adventure set, and the abandoned mine. For some reason, this one has a sheep in it, so th there we go. Okay, I've been trying to stall this for as long as possible, but I think it's time. I think we should start building the mountain cave. This is the largest set that we're going to build, and you can probably see why. It's massive. <laughs> Okay, the mountain part done. Now I just have to build the house on top. Oh, there we go. That took so long, but it was worth it. We now have this amazing build that even has a roller coaster. Yay. <laughs> now let's move on to the dripstone cave sets. First, we got the skeleton dungeon. There we go. And now this really small dripstone cavern set. Boom. This next one will be deep dark themed, so I'm gonna have to go back to an ancient city for items. Oh gosh. I just gotta quickly go in and out. Gonna grab some of these skulk blocks. Uh, okay, I just have to get a bit more. No. Okay, please. I'm out. Nope, I got enough. Where's the portal? Oh my gosh, no. Oh, it's here. Okay. No, why is the ancient city so dangerous? Get me out. Okay, uh, th that was easy. <laughs> we have all the items that we need. Now let's start building the deep dark battle set. There is a warden in this Lego set, but uh, I don't want to have to get another one because... Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just build a replica. Boom. That kind of looks like one <laughs> we only got one more cave set to build and it will be the end portal set let's just bust this one out i want to simulate a real end portal so let me put some item frames with ender eyes inside like this there we go only five more sets to do all of the rest are going to be in the ends so let's go there and grab a bunch of end stone Okay, hopefully this is enough. I want to place the end sets near the end portal, just because that makes the most sense. The first one will be the end battle set. Just get in here. Thank you. And the second one will be the ender dragon set. <sighs> oh my god! That's the second time this has happened. What? I'm so stupid. Okay, I just got to be careful when putting these in. There we go. See? It's much safer. <laughs> now I just have to grab this, and... It looks close to the original. It kind of. Okay, three more builds to go. We just gotta do one more build session. That's the end arena set, the sky tower, and the training grounds. Last block. Let's 
go! I have finally built every single Minecraft Lego set in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed because this took forever. Subscribe. There are seven wonders of the world. All pretty beautiful places that I want to visit. But the thing is, I don't go outside. So I'm going to build all of the wonders in Minecraft to experience them. I first want to start on Chichen Itza. The build is kind of like a pyramid. So let me quickly build the outline for it. There we go. It's pretty big, but it doesn't look like the build. <laughs> so let me finish building the entire thing. Boom, the build is now done. Oh. Okay, fine, I'll finish the other sides. <laughs> All right, now I'm actually done. So while this build is kind of big, the other wonders are going to be ginormous. That is because I want to start with the easier ones to make and move on to the harder ones later. But now let's move on to Petra. This one will already be much bigger than Chichen Itza. It looks like it's in a badlands, so let's build it here, starting with the framework. Jeez, even just the framework is big. <laughs> but before we start on the actual build, I'm gonna have to make the mountain all the way around the frame. For this, I'm gonna need a bunch of orange terracotta. So... There we go. Let's do this. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> why, why are creepers a thing? I, I just don't understand. Well, now I can now start making the fake mountain. Boom, one side down. I'm not the best at building terrain. I'm not the best at building, period. <laughs> but I think it's pretty good. Let's just finish the other side. Jeez. Oh, finally. It's not that bad. Now, Petra has its structure sculpted into the mountain. And I want to try to mimic that. I just want to start with this bottom area of the build. No. Hey, it's actually looking pretty good. I mean, yeah, I did just copy it from the actual place, but it, don't judge me. All right, whatever. Let's just finish the build. And there we go. Oh my gosh. This is the second smallest wonder that I'm going to have to make. And it still took me so long to build. Moving on to the third wonder, I want to make the Great Wall of China. This is big only because it's over 1,000 blocks long. I want to build it next to this village. So let's build this first part right here. this and yeah it's gonna be repeated like this for over a thousand blocks yay <laughs> before i continue with the wall i want to just build a line going from this end to the other just to have a sense for how long it will be and that is the other side jeez this is long <laughs> it's still taking me so long to just fly to the other side oh my gosh well this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Let me just grab all the stone that I'll need. And... Uh, let's do this. <laughs> and I think this block means we are now halfway done. Nice. As you can see, every hundred blocks or so, I'm adding these towers just to copy the real life wall. Well, let's keep going. And boom, the wall is finally finished. I didn't think it was gonna take that long, jeez. It's looking pretty good, but still needs some work. There are some parts that don't even work as a wall because the terrain is too high. So let's lower the ground a bit. Okay, I think that's good enough. And that means that we have finished three of the seven wonders of the world. These first builds are nothing compared to the last four. So let's keep going. And I want to move on to the Pyramid of Giza. The build is literally just a giant pyramid. So to make it a bit more interesting, I want to build it to scale. The real life build is 230 blocks wide on each side. That means I'm going to have to get over 50,000 blocks of sandstone to build this. That's a lot. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go mining for a bit. And we are 10 shulker boxes down. Uh, we, we need 30. <laughs> Man, we completely obliterated this place. So I guess now we find a new place to mine and get back to it. This actually wasn't that bad. It's just so satisfying to mine this. Like, here, listen. Oh, yeah. I think we are now completely done collecting all of it. <laughs> I can't even hold all these shulker boxes in my inventory. It's just so many. <laughs> now it's time to build the pyramid. Yeah, I think this is the flattest area there is. Let me just make the full outline of the bottom layer.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't even fit in my render distance. But yeah, this one layer took the entire day. Um, we, we have a lot more to go. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. Second layer done. Third down. Fourth. And the fifth layer is done. And we are almost three shulker boxes down. Jeez. The good thing is that every layer will take less and less blocks as I go up. All right, let's go. We're 16 layers done so far, and it's looking... I mean, it looks like sandstone, <laughs> but I think it's going to look really cool when it's finished. Before I continue adding more layers, I want to build all the way up to the top of the pyramid, just to see how tall it is. Okay, so this is the top. <laughs> it's so tall. I thought we were close to being done, but I guess not. Time to get back to work. And I think we are halfway done. Let's go. I've already gone through 20 shulker boxes and I have 10 left. Hopefully my math wasn't wrong. All right, well, let's just bust the last few layers out. Last block. There we go. This took so long, but it actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, the pyramid is fully done. Only three more wonders to go. And I want to move on to Christ the Redeemer statue. This wonder and the wonder after will require a total of 30,000 blocks of quartz. So there are three different strategies that I'm going to try to get all the quartz that I need. The first one that I'll test will just be mining for it. Okay, so after an hour of mining, I got 90 stacks of quartz. I need almost 2,000. If I keep mining for quartz, this will take almost 22 hours. <laughs> it's doable, but I think the other strategies might be better. The next one will be trading with Piglin. Piglins trade a bunch of different materials, and one of them is quartz. So with this already made gold farm that I have, I can build a Piglin bartering farm right here. Come on, follow me. Oh my god. Oh. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> That's one. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, last one. Get in there. Thank you. Okay. And now let's see how much quartz I get in an hour. Okay, this sucked. <laughs> Only 13 stacks of quartz. Ah, uh, yeah, let's try the last method. I'm going to try to trade with a bunch of these mason villagers that sell quartz blocks. Because of my pillager farm, I have unlimited emeralds to trade with. But it's still going to take forever. <laughs> One choker box down. And yes, this is so much faster than the other two methods. I should have just done this from the beginning. <laughs> well, only 16 more choker boxes to go. Three choker boxes down. Three down. Four done. Five. Six. Seven. Oh my gosh, I want to die. And we are done. This actually took less time than I thought, but it was still horrible. Well, we can finally begin building Christ the Redeemer. The statue is placed on a massive podium, so let's build that right here. There we go. <laughs> just the podium is as big as this Chichen Itza build. That just shows how big this build will be. Well, now I can start building the actual statue. Most of it is literally just the rope hanging down, so I want to try to replicate it. Man, that took much longer than I thought. And we're only halfway done. Great. Well, now I want to work on the arms of the statue. They're going outwards in a T-pose position. So let me just quickly build them. And now I got to build the hands. This might be the hardest part of it, just because I have no idea how to build them. Yeah, okay. Surprisingly, that's not that bad. Now I just got to copy this onto the other side. Oh, it's a beauty. Let's go. And now all I have left is the face. Okay, no, this will be the hardest part to build. I'm probably gonna fail. <laughs> okay, it's hard to build with such little space. <laughs> you only have to add his hair. And there we go. The entire Christ the Redeemer statue is fully finished. It actually looks so cool from far away. Close up. Uh... Not so much. <laughs> but that means that we are five wonders down, only two more to go. And I want to move on to the Taj Mahal. There we go. We now have all the blocks to build this thing. So let's do it. Okay, this spot's pretty flat. So let's build it here. I first want to start on the outline just to have an idea of the true size of it. <laughs> this is ginormous. Well, okay, this isn't the actual Taj Mahal, but more like the walkway leading to it. Let's just finish building it all the way around. There we go. Now the real life build has a podium with a bunch of these designs on the wall. 
kind of like this. And I'm gonna have to copy this pattern all the way around. This might take a while. Nice. And this next part won't be hard, but just tiring. <laughs> I gotta fill all of this in with diorite. This will be fun. There we go. The podium was the hardest part, so the rest of this build will be smooth sailing. Hopefully. Again, let me first build the framework for the walls. So I'm going to separate the build into two parts. The walls, and then the insane roof that includes the giant ball in the middle. For now, I want to start with the giant entrance. Like this. Not too bad. I don't know why, but this entrance is copied on all four sides. So let's do that now. But now in the corners, it's almost the same as the entrance, but instead of one big archway, it's just six small ones. Yeah, it's cool. Just a lot of archways. <laughs> just gotta do that three more times. Pow! Bablama! Ba chow! I, I, I don't know any other noises. But that is all the walls complete. Now we just gotta do the roof. Before we get to the giant ball in the middle, I wanna quickly work on the small balls around it. Like this. Just gotta finish the rest of them. And there we go. We're almost done with this build. Just two more things to do. Of course, the ball in the middle. But I also have to work on the spires that are in all of these corners of the podium. This is actually looking insane. Alright, now the thing I've been looking forward to. I finally get to build the giant ball right here. So that's the wall holding up the ball. Now it's time to build it. Let's go! The Taj Mahal is finally finished. And it's looking so cool. The inside is also, um, not the best. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Let's just move on to the final wonder. And you probably know what it is. It is the Colosseum in Rome. This build is ginormous and will take over 100,000 blocks of stone. Now, I was planning for this, and while I was making every other build, I turned on my cobblestone farm. So, hopefully... Yes, okay, this must be enough, right? Uh, nope. That only gave me half of what I need. Great. I think I'll try something else to get the rest. Let me build a stone farm. There we go. So the farm works now. I just gotta stand here for a while and wait. This might take a while. Okay, this must be enough. Please. Yes! Okay. Yeah, this is definitely enough. <laughs> the last thing I have to do is just get some deep slate. Oh, that was annoying to get. But there we go. Now I can start the build. That took a while. <laughs> Obviously, this build will be the biggest. So that means that I'm going to need an extremely large flat area. This place is fine, but I think I'm going to have to flatten it even more. Boom. That took uh, much longer than I thought. I left this hole in the middle. Not because I'm lazy. Uh, okay, maybe a little, but also because some of the build is going to be underground. I want to see how big this coliseum will actually be. So let me make the outline of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally, oh my gosh. Just this outline took forever. Yeah, I think this might take a while to make. J just a bit. <laughs> Before I start on the walls of the Colosseum, I first want to make the platform. Meaning I gotta fill all of this in. Yay. <laughs> hey, finally. As you can see, I placed these areas made of stone. And these are gonna be where the walls go. Something like this. And now I just gotta repeat it all the way around. <laughs> this might take a while. Finally, <laughs> this took so long to make. And I want to move on to the center here. This is where the arena will be. It's going to be underground, which means I'm going to have to get rid of all of this water. Let's use some sand to do it. This won't take long. Right? It's taking forever. Why did I build this right over a river? <laughs> Let me try a different strat. For this one, all I got to do is place a row of sand and then place some sponge. I feel like everyone does this strat, so I'm not sure why I didn't do this in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that was so much better. All right, well, all of the water is gone, meaning I can do... Boom! I, I gave up on the transition. Okay, I can finally begin building this area. The walls are the shortest here in the middle, so it should be pretty easy to make. But hopefully. 
<laughs> that was not as easy as I thought. <laughs> but we're almost done with this first floor. I just gotta add the walls. They're gonna look like a bunch of archways that go... But uh, seriously? Anyways, they're gonna look like a bunch of archways that go all the way around this edge. Just like this. Now I have to repeat this like 50 more times. Alright, well, uh, let's do this. Hey, let's go. I think we're halfway done now. Uh, I think. <laughs> I have to make like three more floors and each one's gonna be bigger than last. So I'm uh, maybe a third done? Uh, let's move on to this next floor. I just gotta raise all these walls up. Boom. So these are the seats where the people actually sit to watch the fights going on. But because I'm building this Coliseum as it is nowadays, I'm making it look a little destroyed. But yeah, this is just taking so long. Let's just build the next floor. I'm actually at the point where I'm scared that I might run out of materials. This chest is almost full of just shulker boxes. Well, the other part of the floor won't go as wide, so hopefully it doesn't take as long. Well, let's do it. Yes, finally! We technically only have one more floor to do, but there's gonna be a giant wall after that. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna die. <laughs> I actually wanna see how much I have left. Let's build the outline of this entire wall right here. What the hell? <laughs> oh gosh, that took forever. It actually doesn't look that big. No, but it is. Let me just finish this next floor. It may only look like I'm third done with this next floor, but this other half is super thin. All right, come on, we got this. Let's finish this up. Oh my gosh, okay, please, one more thing to do. I just gotta raise these walls a bit more. Come on, last block. Let's go! I finally have built all seven wonders of the world in Minecraft. This took forever, please just subscribe, please.